Uh, you're all good. We're up. Yep. Okay. What? Is it? Oh. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> How old you are? Yeah, I got the beard. I was going to shave. You're gray on everything. Yeah, salt and pepper. You wow. know, you did this to me. You're in by the, the way. You are in the power chair. I'm a powerful guy. You are what the. You are, I, I don't want to go. You're you're the top right now. <laughs> you, Position I'm <laughs> also a little unfamiliar with, but that's all right. Oh, is that true? Yeah. 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 But that's how it goes usually, right? You're a powerful guy, you know, on the streets, is submissive is, in the sheets. It is surreal <laughs> seeing the Reamer. Isn't that weird seeing Reamer? No, I've seen him recently. We saw yeah. him months ago over at the stadium, at the station. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, lost, you weren't on there, though. Yeah, you definitely lost, lost uh, weight. CBS Sports Radio Network. Yeah, you should come oh, on. Oh, is that right? Late yeah. nights for Amy Lawrence. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and Mike would uh, cross paths there. He lost some weight, huh? Looks good. Lost some weight. Yeah, he did, yeah. I do hot yoga every day. That's probably why. Oh, is that right? Yeah, sweat out everything. Yeah, I'm sure that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry used to be a yoga guy. Uh, he might still be. I don't yeah, know that. Know. There's only one. Pro I'm the only person in the class. I hate going over there. Uh, why are you? That's better, Reamer. You said he was gay early in the show. He's at the toe. <laughs> he can't show up the next day in a hazmat suit, Jerry. He's a little, <laughs> little over the top, but Jeez. it was fine. He was so mad about that. God. <clears throat> so Alex Reamer's here, old friend of mine from years and years ago over at EI. Mutt's here. Uh, call names here. You know, so call name has been saying he's your, he was your boss. Is that right? No, he, boss he, is the wrong term, but I, I yes. managed the station. Yeah, he, he was. Is, yeah. Dave was the uh, Joe Zarbano of 1120 AM WBNW. <laughs> Players manager, wasn't I, Alex? Yeah, Players JV manager. Joey. What? Was, was, this a, was this a Maddie Reamer uh, paid no, operation? No, or? no, I, I was certainly not paid. But I did so alive? But I did not pay either. What'd you say? Is that idiot so alive? Yeah, he called no? me this morning. Did he really? Told me, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you're a diabolical genius. Other, you're going to try to bait me. There are other points in your life where maybe you should have said that when it didn't include a radio or a, a podcast. You should maybe be careful like when you're going to these crazy places you go to or no? Uh, you're more dangerous than any oh, place I've true. ever been. I put gray that's hair true. in your head? You'd, absolutely. Oh, cut it out. Banned that was for a, life. I was like, that wasn't my fault. Brady incident. Oh, let's go yeah. on down the line yeah. here. Oh, yeah. So let's please, let's please run through all those old stories. <laughs> well, we're going to talk a lot about that company probably today. So Reamer's here. Mutt's here. Um, oh, I forgot to text you, Connie. Uh, so Alex, so you're writing, so you're writing at off. Are you full time employee of Awful Announcing? I am not. No. Okay, so you're just doing freelance work. I'm you're a writing a lot, guy. though. You're doing a good job. I do. I'm a machine. I crank it out. And yes. then you write for. I'm, I'm more. I'm not as familiar with the other side. Queer T. Queer, One of your favorites. Queer gay culture, gay entertainment. Queer the letter T or no? Uh, Q U E E R T Y. What's the why? Why is it T Y? I don't know. Queer T. It's a website. Oh. No okay. agenda except the gay one. Okay, that's what they say. That's why you tweeted something the other day about guys going on OnlyFans. Yeah, well, that, Team, that, team that Great Britain. Come on. Yeah, that, was a great, queer, that was a queer T-story. Yeah, yes, yes. I didn't read that one. Okay, did big well. numbers. <laughs> What's, did it? Hot guy, guys like to look at hot guys, believe it or not. So you know so, guys, so, so it's essentially I was the same thing that women do on OnlyFans, right? They just... They just Undoubtedly. Just, although they're not going to be uh, explicit, the Team uh, Britain oh, they're not? divers. No, not yet. So what are they... So they're just going to be in their bathing suits? Uh, they want to They want to communicate more effectively with fans and more personal stuff. You know, like Mutt, you could start an OnlyFans. It could be a... It could be linked to your sub stack yeah. uh, well you could you know what i don't want to go down that road yet i may have to yet. at some point but when i sell not selling sex yet at mudstack.com i like you say yet though yeah i mean it's i'm leaving you're it selling, open you're not, selling, you're not selling anything let me know dave when you have it <laughs> okay. uh yeah what so you have some criticisms of conning about mudstack or something because last week's was an absolute i mean reem would have been proud it was an abortion he would have been very supportive of mudstack <laughs> what do you mean last week it was so what, what, what it was, it was a, this, i didn't read what? it to, specifically? Be, to, be, to be fair i didn't read okay, it so but i saw the beginning go. it was an absolute disaster well, i'm not going to bury all the then. big news like i'm it, not going to address it since you, you didn't said read it. you said you had a criticism of Colony. you told me this yes yesterday. you asked him on the air did he address the horses dying at churchill downs and he skipped right over that section and got to the nice part at the end that was happy mother's day to my mom and my wife that's very and nice. he ignored it on that? purpose for content of the fucking show that was an important because no 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 you did it on purpose you lied for content of the show, which is inexcusable as a producer how of you, your level how who gets mic levels correct all the time and nails real estate. <laughs> you should be able to read that. That was the first section Why on the fucking column. Why do all these people column. think I'm a puppet master or something? Like I, I, I don't have that skill set. Yeah, I've never seen Kirk yeah. say a producer, don't read that puzzle. I've oh, never seen that. I, I definitely didn't know that. I definitely didn't do that. I would tell I you if Dave. I did. I definitely didn't so do that. So it's all Dave. Dave, Dave just skipped over the, the thing section. I, yes. I, okay, one yeah. second. Well, fine. We, we actually literally on Twitter, as the show begins, we have breaking news which we don't normally have mutt let's go to churchill downs 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, wow. That is high level that right there. That was a lot of effort. For made me one. laugh. Wow. Okay. Is that, Great production <laughs> value is here. A, is that a pistol? What are we? Uh, is a water gun? <laughs> oh, no, Dave. Not again. Are we going there again? Oh, just, <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's not nice. These horses are being it's murdered nice. left and They're right. They're not and being you murdered. And They're have... dying on the track. They're dying on the track. <laughs> they are. And you're, you're just okay with it. I'm not okay with it. That's it's why just I do. barbaric. It's not. It, there are certain parts of the like sport that are barbaric. This yes. Thing. Again, if you go, you've mustack, seen this, right? Mustack. Yeah. Now, we what's have, your difference between that and dog fighting? I think at this stage. <laughs> oh, how, how, how dare you? How not, dare yeah. you, sir? Of course not. Come on. There are a couple of deaths that happen at Churchill that are very. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the jockeys. I'm talking about the horses. No, no, no jockeys died, as far as I'm concerned. Which okay. again, permanent as far as you're concerned, jockey. PDJF. We mean as far as, far as, as I know. Okay, all right, I, I'm okay. concerned about them. I know which you're I not donate concerned. money. Yes. Um, yeah, you asked me off the air last week. Like, it, am I starting to feel guilty about this? It's a it's a rough spot for the sport, but they <laughs> are spot. they are <laughs> it's a rough spot. They are Chris do, Russo, they are doing <laughs> things to make the this? the sport safer for horses. Like they are having, doing like having like. AI deaths horses are, or? deaths are down 50 percent from 10 years ago wow it's on huge. track deaths they've cut 50%. them in half with the safety protocols they safety put in place protocols. drug testing they've done how many guys they, died this year in the nba playing game doing mlb or, or on the pga tour none right i don't think not to my knowledge so well, except you, the ones who died from the vaccine of I course. Assume, yeah you know, well, just, well that, yeah, that's a different left and right I mean, so you're not going to watch the the pga championship because they're guys that are taking money from the live tour that are playing the pga that championship is, right? even by your standards so stupid i'm just saying not everything's perfect <laughs> sports not perfect okay. i wrote about this last week mudstack.com no, there are things I, I, to I'm be not, fixed I'm not, I'm not supposed to watch things the to be pga fixed. because of live well how where's that money coming from well, i don't know I, I i know this you're right so i'll, I'll count you with this point and we can disagree so let's say cam young plays this week right he is playing this week well as of shaved right his now, beard as of right now is walking down one of the hills on the 11th and sprains his ankle if a marshal comes out and shoots him in the head then I okay. might have an issue with the PGA. But you understand, human, humans can forward. heal those injuries. Horses can't. They, how much does a horse weigh, Kirk? Uh, oh, I have Kate rides many, many hundreds of pounds. Thousands of pounds. Yes. They weigh over a thousand pounds. Right. So they put so much weight on those limbs that are hurt. Now you're laughing because you're 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 in the you're in the you're in the zone now. You're ready What's to zone? go. You're you're, you're you, you knew you were going here. They weigh <laughs> so much. Okay. They weigh so much they can't heal themselves. They told, get laminitis no, and die. You tell me they have no choice of these horses. These horses are bred just to run in circles. No, the That's thoroughbred right. horse is bred to run. Right. So there's nothing. You've been to these no, farms with your daughter. They, nothing, what are the horses doing in their pens? They're running in circles because they are bred to run and race. That's what they want. Right that way they, just they could they, right. they could be right. they could stop but you wouldn't want that to happen what's well, a major industry that drives a lot of jobs and money right. to this country and you don't care that these horses get... i i absolutely care it's why i donate money to thoroughbred aftercare it's why i donate money to <laughs> pdjf that's why i do things like that i can't physically go and save the sport except a couple of dollars every month that's all i can do Dave, we reached out to the uh people in the national horse uh racing association do we have any sound of that? the national horse racing of course they're not they're not getting back to us unfortunately Play the thank you Play the <laughs> they're not on the internet they're not on the internet the young horse almost makes you think they shouldn't do it though if it's so harmful to the no, horses he would never you know? he would he would if 50 horses died every day he wouldn't care he wouldn't care Mom i do care. care i absolutely Mom care. would shoot one of the horses in the head to win five dollars one of these i would not absolutely not. You know. it's sad Two that seconds. they cannot they cannot physically heal and that's why they have to be euthanized on the track it sucks. it's sad and they shoot them. it sucks well, they, they <laughs> <laughs> see, we're going to get in trouble for this. It's not they right. Don't I'm defending them. these They horses. don't shoot them. They, they inject them with. Are these jockeys still purging themselves? And like the, that story we saw where they weigh like 72 pounds. I'm sure they, they're, I think they, the. This is such a fucked up. There's probably some purging that still Dave, goes we're gonna on. Dave, we're going to have to tackle this. Yeah. Me and Steve, I mean, so we can fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah, you guys going to cancel the horse racing? <sighs> we might have. Well, let's, let's, Dave, let's, ask, Dave, let's ask Dave Portnoy. That's on my beat. It's Dave Portnoy like that idea. Is uh, Linfit Piakai, is he still alive? Or Lafitte no? Pinkai yeah. is alive. I think Lafitte Pinkai Jr. works for uh, NBC and uh, TV. Is he anything troubling or no? What's that? Is he said anything troubling? Can we get him any trouble? <laughs> I don't think he said anything cancelable right. recently. And Numi hasn't said anything on this recently. <laughs> what? How is that funny? <laughs> Bob was a great man. He's dead. It's funny because he's My a great man. My mom loved Numi. She did. It's funny. It's funny. I, Numi would joke around about that. He would not. He would be as, as defensive as I am about the sport. Have you plucked down twice? So, uh, <coughs> I won't ask. I won't get into financial specifics. Yes. Although you told me you're doing better now financially than you were at the uh, significantly. Yes. Just significantly. Incredible. Yes. Have Are you, you really? Yeah. Have you? Good for you. Got to got to see life on the other side, mutt. Have you wasted or plunked <laughs> down twenty dollars yet on this scam? We can fly anywhere in the world. I was thinking of doing it. Yes. I think we're all sold out, buddy. What? I think we're sold out. You're welcome. Oh, come on. Give me a little. No, not your where, where you Did you win? Who won? Did no, we no, 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 no. I think it's June 2nd, uh, I believe. June, June 2nd, 2nd 2023. Yep. What, do we know what time this is at? 
Is it, is it I don't think public? it's a public thing. Oh, I, I mean, what the so. fuck? Why would why wouldn't it be? Where are they where are they doing this? We'll broadcast the show from that. I would do the show from there. Definitely. I will find out today. I'll find the guy out who doing. runs it, who is great guy, very angry. excellent yes. guy, did a great yeah. job with the uh, the games on Saturday. Did great on Sunday after Sunday morning for Mother's what Day. Do you, mean, do you play them? <laughs> well, I set up the game, set a little brunch for the moms for Mother's Day morning for you the mean kids. You games. Line the field properly. What no, he, he did. The fields were set up well. Did he bring bacon and sausage like Colin? No, did? No, yeah, wiggly, I no did wiggly. see someone tweet no, about that. I was going to get to that. No wiggly bacon. Sorry, Mike. Well, Didn't Colin Ain is a, a keto guy. I think is that is that what it was? Or was it already pancakes and like there you was said, already that there. So I, that was my portion of what I wanted to bring. Oh, so yeah. one of your sisters made it, or one of my sisters did like eggs or something. I don't do that. I'll do the bacon. And there was the no sausage. pancakes. I don't do that. I think pancakes for the kids. <laughs> right. Pancakes are guy. I, I can't make the can pancakes though. And you got to make those on site. I made the other stuff at my house. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. How much sausage? Uh, I don't know, just one. Never pack, enough. One pack. No, of right. <laughs> I mean, that was a way. Oh, Fastball yeah. right down the middle. <laughs> we got to play the hits. I'm like, you know, uh, <laughs> tribute band at this point. It's here for. <laughs> unbelievable. Um, yeah, so uh, the feedback from our last show was just a, just a culinary, just beating. And not even so much for the idiot real estate guy, but just the production level. was. And I know... I'm doing the show with Riggsy today. It's going to be a disaster. The thing we did yesterday, I froze at one point. I couldn't hear him. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know the technology behind that. It actually came out perfect. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Will Bruce be upset? Very critical. I think Bruce is going to handle that criticism well? I think he'll be okay. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Do you think I'm going to get Springsteen's number at some point? I mean, that you impressed that guy. It's always yeah. great to be a part of those interviews. Yeah. At it the feels end. like it's... At the end. Oh, that was, that, that, was, was, that was good. It was basically like, it's great to talk to a professional and not those cucks at None But The Brave. That I, was a great one. He did basically yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah I, didn't mind, I didn't mind hearing that. And it's a fine novel, a fine book, I should say. What are you reading right now, Mike? Uh, I just started... Have the, you finished Craig Carton's book yet? I remember years ago, you were, you were reading that. <laughs> years ago. A classic. Years ago. <laughs> uh, I, the book you gave me, which I haven't started yet. I'm reading... I just started the what Luke Gehrig. book did I give you? A Luke, Luke Gehrig book. Like, like a... <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a, not the a letters he won or Richard, wrote? I forget the name of the author, but it's a, it's about his life and his lucky experience. Man. And lucky man. Yes. I read that. Just any good? Uh, it was fine. I'm yeah. early in the first chapter. I'll about, spoil it for you. He dies at the end. He does. Yeah. He does. He great does. speech though. <laughs> he did. a great. I just picture Mutt read, the idea of Mutt reading a Lou Gehrig book makes me laugh. It's very appropriate. I'll send a picture. Very on very, brand. I'll <laughs> my kids take a, uh, a selfie and I'll send it to you. I'm just reading the book. What was one I gave you? Uh, on the Knicks. On the oh, 90s that a, Knicks. That was a great book. You haven't read that? That's way better than that Lou Gehrig book. No, no, I, I haven't read it. Sorry. Don't read one book a month like you, or one book a week. <laughs> you should join my book club. It takes me a while. Are you in a book club? I am, yeah. What's Is this a book club strictly for men of uh, the No, anyone can of, join. I mean, only okay. gay men are in it, but uh, I'm you in. can join if you I'll want. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing that. What do you guys do? You a guys, good book now, yeah. What are you reading? Bad Gays. Stories of the Worst Gays in History. Bad gays. Yeah, there were gay Nazis. Are you in that for your uh, uh, Vivian Brady? Thing almost, no? almost, <laughs> almost. I'm in the next edition. Yeah, there were gay Nazis, gay emperors. How about, Lots how, of bad how about, guys. How about these gay Roy Cohn, of course. You how about know? these gay, Edgar Paul, Hoover? gay politicians who would be anti-gay legislation, like in the '80s, famously? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Like a lot of these gay guys yes. in the Reagan era would be Republicans would do this sort of anti-gay self-hating gays. Yes, I, I, totally. I don't are know they, if any of them are in it specifically, but Buttig Buttigieg is in it as a bad gay. As is Barney Frank, Ben Miller, and Hugh Lemmy. Yes, two academics, two Marxist academics. Is it, is they it, write about is it, from it a, is it very academic? It's or very is, academic. Uh, it's a bit it? dry. It's a bit dry. Oscar Wilde. Yeah. yeah, the best book we read though was "I'm Glad My Mom Died" by Jeanette McCurdy. Oh. I think you would like that. She's a scream. Oh, she's a great writer. Yes, I thought that was a very popular book. I saw it the books. Yeah. I don't. I don't like reading books by women. <laughs> just, not, it's like you, songs you by women. Like, you don't like women uh, singers either, right? No, I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I like I like Bonnie Raitt and stuff, and Cindy Lauper and no, stuff. That's not but, true. But you don't read books written by women. Like Pat Benatar. It's a great book. That's a great Pat memoir. Guy. What? It's a show reference. Steve Robinson. Oh, one time we were playing music and Pat Benatar. He's like some guy named Pat Benatar. No <laughs> idea who it was. Uh, no, I would say so, I just predominantly read more books by men because I'm a guy. I think. I, eh, I think 50, the things 50. that I'm interested in, well, the things I'm interested oh, yeah. in are like. So you're teaching your son this because he no, doesn't watch I, the female wrestlers. That was him. That was uh, him. Yeah, I'm that sure. Was that was I never liked watching the female this. wrestlers. So yeah, it's, it's, it's just not, like the, it's it's not the, the same. Undercard, yeah. it also, that also feels just a little dirty. It feels faker. It's dirty. Too. It's yeah, definitely feel, a little faker. And it's little just, more, it's very pervy. Right. The whole thing. Oh, you think so? I do. Yeah. I think it's less so now than it was before. I haven't watched in years. I'm not. It's not great. Uh, but I just, it's, I don't, it's, I read, I bet you 85% of the books I've read, 90% have been by men. I'm guessing. I, I, that's weird. Probably. Strange. Probably mostly by white guys, I would think. I, I bet. I to be so You got to broaden your horizons. Are these two gentlemen who wrote bad gays, are they gay? Uh, yes, they are. I'll read it. Yeah. Is it good or no? It's good. It's interesting. Where do
Where's ne- who's next? Who's I hosted. Uh, I'm due pretty soon. I hosted one over the summer. We read the gay version of Fifty Shades of Gray. Fifty Shades of Gay. It was t- yeah. It was terrible. Oh, okay. It was awful. Is that what it was called or not? Yeah, something like oh, that. Right. It was pathetic. <laughs> That's what you read? Yeah, it was terrible. What the fuck terrible. Are you doing? The book, yeah, the book choices have. Why don't you read good books? Uh, well, I told you, read. I'm glad my mom died. Okay. Jim is McCurdy. it is it more about? Like, I'm not feeling like myself these days. Great story. Who's that? About an alcoholic drag queen in New York who winds up dating a meth addict. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Nonfiction. It's a nonfiction. It's a memoir. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I, all right. How many guys are in this group? I think 10 to 12 probably. Is it like just an excuse to hang out and drink or what? Uh, not a lot of drinking. We have no? appetizers. So you have to have on theme appetizers, right? So every book has a theme. So you make appetizers that coincide with the theme. Drinks What's the that bad coincide with the theme. Appetizers, you think? I don't you know, I'm not to, hosting it. If you know. have to do it, what would it be? Uh, screaming Nazi. There you go. Oh huh, boy. <laughs> some, sort of, yeah, some sort of German food. Huh. Anyway. How many chapters do you have to read before each book club meeting? Uh, it depends. If I like the book, I read it all, but a lot of times I actually don't bullshit. read the book. Yeah, I don't, I don't have time. Yeah. yeah. No, no time. No Mutt's time to read books. Oh, yeah, Mutt's, I'm too busy staring at my phone. Mutt's four pages right. in the Lou Gehrig's book. <laughs> I think like uh, 25. No idea 30. what's going on. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so you got fought, well, whatever, fired. About the same time Mutt did, right? No? Uh, wait up. No, I, I, I oh, outlasted Mutt, me, yeah. Mutt by, yeah, several months. Yeah, Right. Okay. And like then, three. And then you several. couldn't show up here until you got your last dime from Odyssey, which is amazing. The check's cleared. Uh, you incredible. know, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Because all I can <laughs> oh, say. Pretty seamless how the process works, huh? Wait, 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 Seem- a yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> so you're an uh, awful announcer, which you like. You're doing a good job. I do. Making some, yeah. making some hay there. Love uh, my stuff at Queerty. And Queerty. Okay. Love out sports. Are you still out sports? I am, yeah. With Sid 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 Ziegler. Great guy. a hardcore Republican. He has he been canceled he, by like the left? No, no, no. no. He's not been canceled. No, he does great work. What happened? You told me about this. Well, yeah. So he tweeted his uh, he inf- inferred support for Ron DeSantis, oh, and people, some people oh, took oh, it the boy. wrong wow. way. Oh boy! Uh, oh, but you know what? Though, he, he wrote a very good Substack about it, and uh, you know, personally, I don't. I'm not a DeSantis guy personally. He no? disappoint you. No. Well, who are you gonna? But you, I don't. Want, I don't want to get into this. But you you don't think Biden's doing a good job though, right? He's doing a good job. Oh really? Yeah, he's gotten so stuff you, passed. So you're endorsing him? I'm endorsing him. The okay. Alex Streamer Joe Biden endorsement, okay. 2024. Okay, well good. Right. Spring and Jerry. Save that iron. Talk about climate change. If you had Cut to pick that. between DeSantis and Trump, who would you pick? If you had to pick Trump, right? For just comedy? probably Trump, just because he's much more disorganized. Yeah, it's more fun too if he's president. DeSantis just seems boring. He just seems like he go an evil. He seems like yeah. Who's a bigger asshole, uh, DeSantis or Mike Thomas? <sighs> <laughs> I, mean, I plead the fifth. <laughs> I thought you told me he was a giant asshole. It's great. It's the guy who built 98.5. Alex, it's over. Alex, Alex, trust me, it's over. You're never going back. All right, fine. Now, well, not, uh, out of, not the nicest guy I've ever met. Yeah, How about yeah, that? Yeah. Of all the people I've had the displeasure of meeting in uh, radio. I can he, tell you, he, he, hates, me, he hates me more than you hate him. Trust me. I have had several people. He is not a big fan of mine, So, which is unfortunate. Who's he uh, get to you, Mutt? I didn't talk. I didn't much communication. I really didn't. Well, well, until the he, end. He should be feeling secure <laughs> professional, professionally. Uh, do we have any stock updates from today on the stock for uh, August? Well, just fortunately, open. Yeah, fortunately, you can't move it. So I believe oh. it's still in the nine cents. Unless you want to go walk down somewhere and write it on a piece of paper and trade it that way. That's which true. is Absolutely know. wild. So yesterday afternoon, they got, I guess, officially delisted, which was inevitable, I think. The stock is at like nine and a half cents. And then I, I don't, I know nothing about stocks, nothing. So I have no idea. Not good though. I just know when you're a hundred, when you're one point eight eight, one point eight eight billion dollars in debt, and you're losing money every month, it's going to be hard to make your money back. I'm no. I'm Did no you read the email structure. from David Field? The, there's no re- debt due until July of 2024, yeah, so no bills for another year. Is that a good Let's thing go. or a bad thing? You saw that email? I saw that email. Yeah. Glenn sent you that. Yeah, <laughs> I was on social media. <laughs> oh, was it okay? Yeah, I think Radio Insights ad. Did you? Uh, did you talk to Doug Lang yesterday? I talked with uh, oh my God. people. Mud is like, that's one of the sad, like I, I love you, Mutt, but Doug Lane. Mud is like, oh, well, he knows, I don't know the stock market at all. And he so does? He, he Mutt's is. the guy that Doug has been calls right. now and Glenn doesn't he's, answer the phone. Yeah. No, I, I didn't <laughs> call the backup. I did not call Glenn yesterday. <laughs> what are you showing I didn't. I'm going show you right now. I did not call Glenn. How often do you talk to Doug Lane? Uh, I have not talked to Doug Lane since I left. He was great on remotes. I liked him when he would slide. <laughs> he liked the piece of paper, like a yeah. point he wanted you to make. Oh, God. He, he'd be, he was fucking terrible. Very nice guy. Very nice yeah. guy. But so uh, so I don't know. All I know is they're absolutely fucked. I don't know what that means for the company. I don't know what that means in terms of layoffs. I don't know anything. I just know. I'm or, surprised there haven't been more layoffs, to be honest with you. Me I, think, too. I think I was like the first wave, and I'm not but, sure there's been a second. But when you're one point. I think a couple executives that might have worked uh, sure. with us over the years. Tim Murphy, their let's jobs say, let's say Tim Murphy and Mike D got fired, right? Let's just say that. They did. Or, okay, let's say that. Sure. So they're $1.9 billion in debt. <laughs> right. So Tim and Mike probably made between the two of them a million dollars a year. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Between the two of it's you, great, great guys. 
Let's say you made 150,000 between the two of you. Let's sure. say 250,000. Oh, high problem. Well, whatever. 450,000. Yeah. 1.9 billion. Yeah, it's insane. You fire the midday uh, second producer in Milwaukee. You're saving 36,000. These are not, you could fire everybody on air. Replace them all with, with robots, it wouldn't matter. But they cool. all make those decisions. Like we talked about the 98.5 one, where they have to pay their producer out of pocket. Right. Like They're bleeding money. Well, that's the other right. thing. Like, you know, and I, I have fun with it. But like, if I was still at the station, the it's scary st- times. The stock the stock was at, what, $9.36 uh, $9. yesterday? Is that what it was? Uh-huh. So if I, no, no, it wasn't I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry nine cents. Move it down. Yeah. Nine yeah. cents, right, right, <laughs> yeah. right, nine cents, right. I'm sorry, nine, nine cents, uh, nine, point nine three six cents. Yes. If I was at the station, as Mutt said, I wish it ended up at what'd you say? Point nine three seven. You he fucking agrees. stole my line. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say you it laugh? before the show. I can laugh. I, can laugh. <laughs> I did kind of like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you fucking stole my line. It's a good line. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I didn't say. I gave it to Cullinane. I got a laugh from Please you. I got a laugh from Glenn. <laughs> that got good laughs. laughs. You're talking to Glenn too on the I daily basis. Glenn, right? I love, no, but I talked to. Glenn. I like Glenn. I talked to Glenn. text from Glenn yesterday. I talked to Glenn yesterday. Um, but if I was at the station and the ratings were, say, three times as high as they are in the morning right now, the stock would be maybe a tenth of a cent high. It does, it's, if that, nothing to do with the success of the stock. It uh, doesn't matter, right? Nothing. That's why it's the, almost like irrelevant to look at like the programming moves anybody makes. Correct. It's like they're told, like, okay, we have to cut X. All right, who can we cut? All right, who we got left? I mean, that's really but you think, but what you, it is. But you think the station's a good spot from a content perspective. I think you they like, have a lot of young talent that's yeah, uh, on the rise. Of, you're a big fan of Megan Adelini? <laughs> I think she's definitely a unique voice in the market, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. What good job, about? I mean, I know they're stupid and stuff, but do they even care about news like this? Like if you're an Arcan or a Adelini or a Joe, do they even... No. Put your head down and get to that next paycheck. I guess yeah, it's, it's what you to. would do, right? Well, it's, yes. a, it's the survive the day mentality. Yeah. That's really... Like, they won't talk about it or anything. <laughs> 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 what would they? Yeah, they're going to talk would. about it. No, you wouldn't. What would you say on the sure, air about I'd this? i a couple of jokes about it. Of course you would. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Like, oh, oh, I would do it, but... I mean, it was, well, unless you were told not to. Absolutely. Yeah, then, then yeah. The moment you left, we talked about Rob's uh, manager uh, of the year vote. Oh, believe me. I remember crazy. that. No, That's I, a pretty serious one to talk about. I don't think I'd give them shit for not talking about that. Oh, no, they're not. They would never do that. Even no. know. They don't, they don't yeah. talk about anything, and rightfully so, that they think could cost them their jobs. I mean, why why would they? I want to know why that happened yesterday. I know you, you, I you sent me like three texts in a row. I kept yeah. the answers were shorter and shorter every yeah. time you sent it. Well, to it me. makes no sense. Uh, well, I, well, go ahead. Could, walk me through it. They had a plan. They were going to do that. Who's they? Odyssey? Odyssey had yeah. a plan with the New York Stock Exchange to do a stock split at so, a certain so, point. So you think something happened? So oh, they had to vote on that happened. first, by the way. The, yeah, the board had to say, we'll do that. That meeting takes place on May 24th. Okay, but we all knew that was happening. Thanks, Doug. It's all going to happen. <laughs> no, this, oh, I got text to read you. Hold Thank on. you, Radio Insight. <laughs> <laughs> Two, gu- two guesses to suss them out. Go ahead. I, I asked somebody who uh, works in the finance industry. I asked him what this means. Okay. This he is somebody. In the is, finance industry. This is a guy I went to college with who looks at these charts all day. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Writing is on the wall. It's going to take a <laughs> lot second. to return to profitability. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, good. He looks at these charts all day. Yeah, you've seen these stock charts that you see on Twitter. He looks at them all day. He just looks at them. <laughs> I look at them. It looks like a different language. Okay. He can apparently read. He can read see. Them. Yeah, he knows. Okay. You went to college. He's up good. Down, down, it's bad. He's a very successful finance guy. Okay, very yeah. successful. And said the issue was the first quarter results were less than expected, and the stock exchange doesn't believe that the five twenty four split leave is going to is going to help. Correct. So yes. they just jumped. Gotcha. I read that. Yes, I did see that as well. Okay, yes. that's Go still ahead. fucking them over. If they don't believe it's going to help, they're still fucking them over. Well, they, they'd also they'd also argue they gave Entercom a year or Odyssey a year to figure this out, and right. they waited until literally last minute to do it. And they're like, yeah, well, I, you're I, not I mean, you're not doing anything to help the company. Well, they're probably hoping that they would just not get noticed. You know, you're just like they don't even notice that you're still I was, there. I was kind of waiting. Sounds like somebody this. on the air six to ten at night. Just <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of I was kind of waiting for this day. That I'm just surprised it took this long, but there it is. I guess I I, I don't. So what's this? So if they declare bankruptcy today, what happens? Nothing, really. David yeah. Field's removed oh, from probably. power, right? Isn't that what happens? If it yeah, they'd bring some sort of so. bankruptcy. And they would just start selling. They'd start with, well, yeah, we'll start selling pieces and, off. And how much do you owe? Who do you owe money to? The Red Sox, you know, hosting companies, whatever they, they owe no money, money to. They start selling things off to get money. And then any, any revenue they get, say they get a check from yeah, X advertiser, right. you get half of that goes directly to because you've declared you bankruptcy owe. in your private life right? i have not no not yet considering <laughs> not considering no things are healthy but isn't it a way to like make things all your debts now. disappear things are healthy eh, for now any work updates i mean i'm working what do you mean i'm a mudstack.com oh, don't do this to oh, yourself no. <laughs> it's at, that's my job right now i don't no, know why you're no, laughing okay, about that i'm not no one's laughing. i worked two weeks no ago one, no one's get in june i got I'm make i'm making actual money it's worked good. what like a day at the horse races? Yeah, I get paid for that. Okay, but that's it's not a, a job. No, no, that's not a job. It is a job. See, you you you're you're stuck in this 
weird mentality yeah. you have to have like a full time right. job. Right. It's a gig economy. I'm going to piece things together <laughs> it's a gig to make economy. it work. I'm the full time freelance employer. thing is very appealing. Yeah, it, yeah, it absolutely. Okay. Is, yes, it's I'm very. Want to trade jobs? Uh, me and you, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, I do it. it seems like it's going okay for me. So you're saying by shaking hands at horse races and and laughing about dead horses, you make a couple of bucks for a day. That's not what I was doing. And then a couple of weeks later, you do it again. That's it. a living. And much yeah, that generates no revenue. It's not not yet. But I, as Dave as Dave said about his his, his of a real estate podcast, it's not executed it yet. Yeah, uh, the yeah, idea okay. is here. Right. Are you gonna go? The you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna go private right. with this at some point. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. No. So how are you gonna make revenue? They'll be advertising at some point. From who? Who would advertise? I have advertisers are interested. Who? People I'm not, have, how come I'm people? Not, I'm not going not, to give you names. They're, it, it, they're, give me them so I could call them and talk them out of it. <laughs> no, a because again, idea. this is where this is why probably my last appearance. You're not supporting the mutstack anymore. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You support wait Blind Mike. Wait you have me come in here for free, and you're not really supporting it. So that's fine. For free. Exposure. Everybody, exposure. Bucks. Every subscriber to that mutstack is, is same formula that Glenn used. It's not from this show. Every single one. I love you, but that's not the case. What percentage think it is? I don't know, 40%, oh, somewhere on there. God. Dave, can you believe this? Mm, yeah, he's in denial. I, and I appreciate the support of you and your audience, but it's it, I'm, I'm here to get people to subscribe. Right. I'm giving them content they can't get anywhere else. They can definitely get it somewhere else. Where? I mean, where, I mean this show, yeah, every media thing comes from me. <laughs> That's not true. But but where what? else can they get Celtics uh, Celtics predictions? Where, else can, they, where, else, where <laughs> else can you get people to say there shouldn't be sports flashes anymore? I don't know. They'll survive. You also spent 10 minutes on this show talking about yeah, it. Making fun of you because you're no, so stupid. No, and you had actual conversations yes. about it and, and you turned it into yes. content. Okay. You're welcome. How you're welcome. That, how does that help you out? People were reading it and you <laughs> you say you cycle people back. People but, are interested but, in what Mud has to say about the radio. But that has nothing to do with me. Absolutely. Yeah, which is, why you, which is why you should do more of it. That's I've, all you should do. I've tried to include a media note in every single. I will say it's nice to read somewhere about 985 because God knows I didn't read about an EI for the last couple of years. There was, there was no, <laughs> I like to see Alex wiggle his way out of this one if he was still there. There's the nothing spread, to wouldn't with, have written with, about with the it. Spread touched that would have been like, oh, but see, Pat McAfee going yeah, to ESPN yeah, would have been. Anyway, Will Fleming. Will, yeah. Will, what's life like on yeah. the road? I have no, I have no regrets nor apologies for how I handled the media calm. I did what I could. Media mayhem. Yeah, pure, media mayhem podcast. Come on, did what I could. Pure prostitution, just making a living. Exactly. What is your take so you've covered this Fred Toucher thing where we're so yesterday was I thought uh, more almost as bizarre as anything else. they just act like nothing's going on mm. it, it is quite strange because Fred's like tweeted about it too right, so it's not like a I totally mean. private thing it's, it's, and okay. it was kind of lame too they're like oh we're just so honored that people care I mean why would people care about us I mean that's a little <laughs> that's even, like beneath them uh, did you, did you have any sound of that yeah I didn't have any problem I don't know if you did I didn't have any problem particularly with anything that was written once again I didn't read anything no oh. I didn't not yeah. even the globe uh, I read that. That that's one. Of <laughs> which means he read everything. Lying. Which like, means he read everything. I know that guy. Every he reads, tweet, he everything, reads everything. everything. That's everything. just so silly. Like, why would you do that? Why why can't they talk about the story? If you're gonna bring it up, then the listener doesn't. Most of us just definitely didn't read it. So then talk about it if you're going to bring it up. Right. I just don't, wouldn't bring it up at all if you're going right, to sidestep gonna, it. Correct. If you're going to go that way, us. if you're going to go that way, just whether. But I do think at some point the listeners are going to say. Why is this guy here this day? This guy's here. Like at some point that becomes. Well, they're, they're here. They were together again this morning. I heard on the drive in. Anything or no? Uh, Celtics heat preview. Okay. That's what I mean. Guy. So they're just going to do that, I, well, which is fine, I guess. But I, I don't know. I mean, it's going to blow up at some point, though. Those guys clearly hate each other. But it was very, I thought it was that. I, I, just, I heard probably a couple see clips. the fight, the, uh, the writing on the wall that every company's dealing with. They just want to make the money while they can. Yeah, I don't blame I them. But I, don't, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's probably the, the money's mentality. Money's too good. The money's make, too yeah, good. Make great livings, put our heads down, and let's see how long this thing lasts. Yeah, but that doesn't seem like that's Fred Toucher's mentality, though. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> it does <laughs> I'm not, not. I'm not getting but, that sense. But maybe, in a, maybe his friend, oh, they'll visit him over the weekend, you know, talk some sense <laughs> to him. But did you say yeah, his right. contract is up this year? I heard that Fred's contract is up, Rich's contract's up, and Greg Hill's contract is up. Well, but well, the, the I mean, so they major stars. Yeah, they have a reason to shut up and just get their next deal, right? That, that that's that's why they're not talking about. It's why Maz didn't talk about what he'd said. Okay, so move on. If at ten twenty eight tonight, Fred Toucher went on a Twitter binge, would you be surprised? No, no, so not based I mean. on it's what not, happened those not, two weeks. It's not going to last. Or Instagram live video. No. Well, they're, they're not going to see each other for like three months, probably, right? Because they all take the summer off. I guess. So. But all I heard was that Fred took all his vacation days. So I, I have no. Maybe he'll work all summer and Rich won't. I don't know. But it's. I just try to picture in the old days. If there was a big sporting event on a Sunday night and I was saying to the bosses or Jerry, like, hey, look, I got a buddy in town. Like, we're going to the game. Yeah. I won't be in tomorrow. <laughs> You're dying to talk some Bruins playoffs. Yeah, but, you wouldn't miss one of those no, shows but, for like, Red Sox. But, 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 they, the but Rich, those guys purport to be huge Celtics guys. Right. So, Rich, so, at least, I think. Yeah, so there's yeah. a game the next day. So then they're acting like, then they don't show up. I wouldn't, I, I never said that. But they're saying that. Yeah. 
got to be there. I mean, obviously there's something very wrong with that relationship, but uh, I think that uh, I think they're both going to just put their heads down and make millions I as long as they I can. I think, really? I think, I think Rich certainly will be hosting the show by him with some, I'm, with like whatever that group is and he'll be happier. And Fred then what does be, Fred do? Fred will be in the wind. Just, I yeah. yeah I, I think Fred, Fred more than Rich wanted to talk about it yesterday. Oh, definitely. See, when he, the Globe yeah. thing is that I didn't read anything in there I, I, I felt badly about or, or, dis- or disagreed with. And in that Globe piece, he didn't go with your full quote, but half quote of Rich brought up hostile work environment. So Fred wanted, Rich to have to explain that on the audience, the audience, he wouldn't do that. So right. Fred wants to play this, Rich does not. Wait, you say something called Nainer? No, there's Rich kept kind of pivoting. He was yeah, asking all yes, about yes, Ryan yes, yes. Johnson or a, whoever else. He's Wallet. a pussy. He's high road. Yeah. Yeah. He, he high wants road. To, I don't blame him. He's got a great but, gig. I mean, for Beasley's sake, why would they re-sign both of them if I'm Beasley? Because they'd get the same ratings with just one of them. I think it would Rich lose. Is, eventually, it would, it would, yeah. it's not going to crater, but like if it's just That's Rich, right. then you can't just have just Fred because you can't trust him by right. himself. Oh, it's totally, not work. totally. So if you have just Rich, there will be some people who are like, this is not the same show. But if you lose 30%, who cares? But the weird thing is, like Beasley's uh, stock price isn't much better than sure. Odyssey's, that's right? I mean. Yeah. So I mean, what's matter. the? It's so weird that the shows like they're doing best ratings in the history of the of the of sports ever, radio, right? And it yeah. doesn't it doesn't matter for the bottom line. It's so bizarre. I know. I feel like more people. Maybe it's because I was in the middle of it. I feel like more people were talking about our thing while it was going on. Definitely. Theirs, but maybe it's because you talked about it as well. And I would go on Twitter and be yes. like, "This fucking show sucks." Jesus. Mutt and Jerry's a disaster. Yeah. That's pretty under. That's underreported. Uh, it's one dollar stock, Beasley. Yeah. No, yeah. it's terrible. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're they're laying Five people off too. Dollars. Yeah, the business, the radio business is dying. It's fucking dying. To your point, Alex, 985, I think we just named a, the top two or three billing station in the country. Right. <laughs> I believe that. I mean, I, the other market. And Rich is like paying his own producer out of his pocket. I mean, that's crazy. Jesus Christ. Oh, you said you, uh, off here, you told me you had something you wanted that would piss Alex off. Oh, so I, I think Alex knew this. Oh. But towards Uh-oh. the end of his tenure at EEI, when, when, and you've listened to Rich Keefe now, you know they've put him on the, the, any full show he has, he's with Andy Harder or Nick Fitzy Steve. Yes. I, I did not know that, but okay. Ken yeah. Laird over and over again would say, anytime you want those guys, you want those guys, want those guys. He'd offer Mark Dondero. He would offer KJ uh, Carson. I for Dondero once. He'd offer I everybody. K, I don't know KJ Carson. And he never once offered Alex. Yeah. And I got the sense they did not want Alex on the no, air. I don't think Alex not. surprised by that, but well, they offered breaking. everybody definitely in the not. role. But I, I believe. I, I, yeah. I think Alex, he didn't he never heard that from them saying, hey, we don't want you on the air. I think there was always the carrot of maybe you'd go back on the well, air at some point. Oh, no, I, I kissed that, that dream goodbye, yeah. A long time ago. Did that end? Were you ever Seems on? Seems as if I was black. Were you ever on again after... He came on with me. After I Greg brought him on a couple of times. Yeah. A re- a re- During Patriots Falcons Thursday Night Football. It was yeah. prime, prime time drive, bill. Drive time show. I mean, like a real show. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wasn't on the air once. I didn't get a single shift. No, after, Poor me. After Mutt, you were on with Mutt and Jerry, right? All the time, yeah. Okay, so once Greg yeah. Hill came I was in, on with you after you, uh, before you left. What do you mean? Uh, I did your last ever show on EEI. I think no. Oh, oh, oh! Not with not when I was on with those. Not guys. the one that not yeah, the one yeah, you came yeah, in and yelled and yeah, screamed yeah, yeah, like your last like real oh, show. Oh, is that right? Yeah. No, but, but I'm saying right. Then once Greg came in, you were not. Oh no, no, no! You didn't fill in for like nothing. Lou, nothing. Nope, nothing. Huh. Not just sitting there twiddling my thumbs. That's weird. Yeah. Were you, were you bitter about it or no? Most certainly. How could yeah. I not have <laughs> yeah, been? It was... But it didn't bother me ultimately. Just cash the checks every two weeks. Go to P Town. You know, live my life. Yeah. <laughs> but you go on. But then Mutt eventually also stopped having you on. Yeah, well, Mutt didn't fight for me, right, which, is some, which is the real issue. You know what? You still, still be there, Alex. Should have yeah, fought for it. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on. You, you that's did. a badge. How about you Alex? Did. How about, how know. about know. Alex? That's a badge. Give funny, the kid a shot. What's funny is I have I no Mutt and Callahan memory at all. Not one. I would listen to it once in a while, but I have no memories of it. I once threw, I once played catch with like Wiggy or something in the parking lot. That was a good bit. That kind of good bit. Good bit. That kind of I also shot basket, baskets, basketballs, hoops. I shot hoops. Yeah. Who? Wiggy? Myself. Yeah. Okay. It was not good <laughs> what else dave uh i would just one last point about odyssey somebody yeah. had great speculation that the nyse actually helped odyssey yesterday because of major short positions and nyse thought he would go down to basically fucking zero so that would be great so they were That'd saving unbelievable yesterday. i mean yeah. i don't know where uh, you do we have you have dave field's number right i said I let's I give him a call let's yeah. see he usually doesn't answer maybe he'll answer today it's a big day I two former yesterday. employees on, yeah. on. i don't know <laughs> two former employees they text him. three of the one of his biggest employees <laughs> That's right. Four. Who's the other one? Oh, yeah. From Radio.com or Boston or the Boston.com morning yeah. show. <laughs> Wait till they sell that Radio.com domain. Oh. Huge money. Still still for sale. I saw they dropped the price on that. Baby. Can't get the reserve. Well, oh, well. What can you do, Dave? What else is going on? 
Uh, what'd you make of that Barstool Chicago fight yesterday? Did you see that? Yeah, I listened to it. That was pretty good. So I like those guys. Um, I like uh, Chief and White Sox Dave. I like Eddie. Eddie doesn't like us. I like Eddie. I also like Carl. And Carl made a great move, uh, Barstool Carl, <laughs> in New York a couple of years ago. Pulled me aside and was like, I really want to pick your brain on like how to host a show because you're so good at it. So I don't really care what he did. I'm going to take his side. <laughs> That's I, the case. I, it's, it, it's too bad he was mean to some guy at some Mexican restaurant and yelled at a cabbie, but I don't really care. He, at a cabbie. he choked White Sox Dave. I, sometimes I want to choke that idiot. So I, I, I can't be that upset. Um, and I have to say, I was texting with uh, Jeff D. Lowe about it. If you didn't know the story, they were pretty vague. They didn't really throw them under. It wasn't like a capital, capital B burial, I didn't think. No, I didn't think so either. It seemed very no. light. It seems like they just... Now, we've been hearing for months. I think we said on the show. Yep. They don't get along. They had a big fight backstage at some live event or something. Yeah. They I guess did. Carl's a nut. Yeah. That's what I think they're saying. There's a guy who's going for Carabas, right? Uh, yes. I think yeah. he has probably some mental health problems, and yeah. they're scared to call him out on this shit because right. it... I don't know, affects his mental health or something like that. I don't know. I guess. I guess yeah. he's like legitimately like a lunatic. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know. You got, I mean, you guys have never dealt with somebody like that. No. I, ever, so, nope. I, you know, I don't. I, you, you never saw me like that. Never. No. Totally calm. No, but you never saw me like choking or screaming at the. I, I've the never seen you scream. <laughs> you weren't <laughs> always trying to fight the That's like throwing like pens and stuff, highlighters. Yeah. Hey, did I not? Uh, did you see the other night I was almost going to throw Dale Bear at you, but I did not, yes, Dave? Yes, that was a question. Restraint? That's you. progress. Yes, yes. That's progress. You're That's so progress. much tamer here, though, than you were at EEI. Of course. This is there's, like, there's no idiots. Yeah, I mean, there are much better here, but there's no, you yeah. know, Joe Zarbano, or as you call him. I never had to deal with Mike Thomas. You call him Cunt Thomas. That's, <laughs> I don't find that. Uh, well, the C word's making a comeback. Yeah. Oh, it's it. Rolling Stone had a big piece on it the other day. Did they really? Yeah. Was it a think piece? Uh, yeah, Serving Cunt. It's coming back. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a book club book. <laughs> it does. That might be a yeah. huge Twitter trend. Serving Cunt? Yeah. You 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 used to do that regularly. At EEI. What's that? Serve Cunt. What does that mean? Just like the ultimate like badass bitch. Oh. Uh, yeah. You Alex? Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> He's I don't like know. Blushing. Look at it's kind of, sweet, it's kind of a sweet thing to say. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Well, cunt's a great word. It doesn't mean like it shouldn't because it has a very hard like ending to it. it has you know, nothing to do with like a. It's not about a woman. It's just a great. Word. Yeah, but to women, it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's didn't the dude just get fired? Didn't some TV anchor just get fired because he said it off mic or something well, like probably that? Probably on TV, you can't say it, but yeah. here you can say it. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm bringing a retard back. Okay, yeah, it was time. I'll, I'll bring the c word, word back for the for for my community. Yeah, and I'll bring it back for a Muslim community. <laughs> What's my allowed to go? <laughs> no, but that doesn't. And I, I have great appreciation, and respect for parents and for kids going. But it, it doesn't mean that. It's just a good word. Jerry is Jerry's a different word he uses. I don't use that yeah, one. Yeah, but you can also easily replace it with something else, don't you think? So if you have respect for the families that are going through some of those things, yeah. why wouldn't you just replace it with the easy thing to replace it with? What's that? Like, instead of calling me a retard, why wouldn't you just call me an idiot? I, uh, like, why wouldn't you choose to do, I never, do, I do that? I never say that word. You do do that. Idiot? No, yeah, I say it, idiot all the time, yeah. but the other one, yeah. never say it. I grew up with it. feels so out of place. You still such... say it? Yeah, we're bringing you it back. You do? Yeah, bring right, it bring back. it back. Here. Yeah. Yeah, what, 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 you, want me, you want me to use the word Jerry's brought back? <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Exactly. But where does that? Uh, well, I think you can figure it out. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Well, rappers use it. It's Jason without a Y. Why He's a huge I, Oakland why, A's fan, why, Jerry. Why, huge why, why can't I use it? Uh, exactly. So what, what were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about Chicago. but yeah. Oh, yeah. So so yeah. I, I, so yeah. What, what happened? Uh, it just sounds as if it was 10 years of just Carl being an asshole to those guys. And then right. over time, it just built up where they had to get rid of him. And he, I guess they had a podcast that Portnoy said they not spiked to it. air. They spiked yeah. it. Yeah. Redline Radio great. or something I heard yeah. them say, yeah. I, which I guess was a disaster, just a mess. Yeah. All right. I won't use the word anymore, Alex. Thank you. Fine. Yeah. For you, I won't, I won't use it anymore. Don't, I won't don't use, use it. it. Be I better. Use it. Be better. I'll try. Update I'll your try. language here. 2023. You're saying the C word, though. Isn't that bad, too? But I'm, I'm using it in a way that... Like brings power to it. Why can't I bring power to that? It's just just because it seems selective to me. No, I don't have power to cunt. Like it's just, well, because I mean, there's a lot because it originated like the, the more positive way to say it originated really in the ballroom scene in New York in like the 60s and 70s. The gay ballroom scene? Uh, yeah, like the black queer ballroom scene. Really? Yeah. Huh. No, because people had and also like you know mother like you know like your mother she's mother like that also is from the ballroom scene. I don't know what that is. I don't know what, yeah. you mean by that. what is that? It's like it's like a queen, like the ultimate, like the ultimate, the ultimate like female. Viola Davis. Yeah. Viola Davis. Yeah, yes, she's a queen. Yes, Beyonce is mother. Serena Williams. Uh, she could be mother. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Courtney Cox. 
Uh, which one? The one from Friends or uh, the more successful <laughs> one? <laughs> definitely Mother. Yes, we definitely, mine. Definitely. Uh, all right. So, do we have to play the sound of that Dave or no? Uh, if you want to, go ahead. Uh, by the way, I it thought was, yep. it seemed like to me. This reminds me very much of the real world San Francisco season, where they kicked Pedro. Uh, not Pedro. I beg your pardon. Pedro passed away. They kicked Puck out of the house, and Judd Winnick, now a successful uh, comic book author, child, child book author kind of led the charge and brought everyone together to kick out Puck. It seemed to me the chief is the leader in kicking out uh, Carl. Well, that's how Carl wants to spin it, though. Well, they, it, Eddie went right to chief to sort of set the set the set things up. I'm not saying chief is wrong. I don't know. I'm saying but it, well, feels, chief, like, chief it was, feels like it's a chief-led operation. Well, chief was, in this case, kind of the victim because someone right. published his private DMs, and that's where it all spiraled. Right. It was about chief. Like, the reality of the Dino thing was Jerry started pushing it. I got the rap for kicking him out, but it was Jerry who organized it just for historic historical purposes. Are you playing the sound? This you, is bullshit. Carl is idiot. like trying to spin this narrative that I made the office toxic, that I was the problem. He chose to move on from us. And that just wasn't true. And it didn't sit right with me. And he's like making up lies about what happened and what I did and that I was trying to get him fired. Uh, that was never the case. Uh, we just, as a group in December, decided we can't work with this guy anymore. And well, there you go. It's, I mean, I, I it's so but, Carl but, is telling people that he broke it off, but they broke it off. I don't know. Do we? Know? I, I kept looking for that online yesterday. What is this? What, what is Carl saying? You kept looking for it. I, I searched Twitter. Looked at Barstool. Okay. Carl, Carl DM people and said, "Did Garrick would have done that or no? No, I don't think they had social media at that point. Okay. Was Carl that? DM people and said Chief was trying to get him fired. Chief was trying. Garrick played every day. Do you think he put up a fucking Lou Gehrig stack at 12.30 on a Friday? No way. When's the last 12.30 stack that was up have, on a Friday? He'd have one up every day. When's the last every, one that was up? When was every, the last one that was up at 12.30 on a Friday? Day. It's been up well before 12.30 <laughs> for day. weeks. Also, oh, we like, awful marketing decision to come in on a Wednesday when the mutt stack is not coming out. That makes no I'm sense. I'm busy Friday. Sorry. What are you doing Friday? It's a Preakness uh, Friday. Too much stuff going on. What are you doing? These terrible appearances? Got a gig. <sighs> I got some things to do. Like what? I'm not, I'm not getting into the show. What? I'm not getting into it on the show. Why? I choose not to. Well, can you give us some sort of hint? No, too busy. Too busy. <laughs> Doing what? I'm you asked me to come in Wednesday. Uh, no, no, What's no, the point here? You no, asked me to no, come in nobody, Wednesday. Nobody wants you here Friday. I'm just curious what you're doing. I have things to go with the Preakness. I have other stuff we have to post and other content we have to produce. So are you it's going, be very are you busy going to the Preakness? I am not. No. Have you ever been to the Kentucky Derby? I've been to the Derby and the Preakness and the Belmont, yes. You should get those trips sponsored. There you go. It's, see, that, that, that might be what he's working Just on. Saying. There's some yeah. stuff going on. I hope so. Like sponsored. I hope so. I hope so. All right, what else? We know that's not going to happen. What else? Uh, did you, by the way, did you see the Elizabeth Holmes? Uh, she owes what Liz like, what, 400 yeah, Liz million in restitution oh, or something? All those stories didn't work. All 400 those million? 452 Four, million in, resti in restitution. That's not good. No, yeah. I don't care if she changes her voice or, or rescues a dog or whatever. That's I know that's not good. When is she going in the in the can? Uh, I think she's fighting that right now, but I assume that's going to be happening soon. Must be soon, because yeah. the New York Times article is April's like 43 days, 42, 41. She so is coming having soon. that husband shooting cum in there like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> trying to get knocked up again. Like, <laughs> please buy me another couple of years. Christ. Jesus. 125 million of that is to Rupert I don't Murdoch. Care. That's great. But, but she but she works, but she takes calls for a rape, a rape prices line. So why put her in jail? Yeah. I mean, mm. uh, fine. She scammed people out of billions of dollars, but so what? <laughs> She searched for that dog for 16 hours. <laughs> she walked on that beach. Her Damn husband it. got a, a coffee cup that said, uh, what did it say out of it? Was, uh, was it Bonnie and Clyde or what was it? The, uh, <laughs> oh, right, right, right. What they get chased then? out of every multi-million dollar <laughs> rental that they're in. It's very sad. But I do love oh, that she only- have it. Oh, yeah. What was it? Yeah, go ahead. She scammed, though, just these very old, rich men, like Rupert Murdoch, Henry Kissinger, George, George Schultz, Schultz, all these guys. It's amazing Henry Kissinger is still alive. It is amazing. Uh, I'm in Dershowitz. Have any dealings uh, with him, Dave? Uh, Mr. Evans <laughs> stopped the Starbucks. He returned to find the barista had written Billy the Kid on this coffee Ooh, cup. Billy the Kid. <laughs> Are you of the... So my my great, great friend of many years, Jim Russo, defended this story. was like, oh, she kind of was tongue-in-cheek. She was aware that she was being scammed. I was like, that argument doesn't work. It does not hold. There was that line about the editor, though. Right, like, I you know, got, but you got rolled. This is, this is a propaganda piece, though. It, it, she seems quite gullible, this yeah, reporter. I, mean, I will say. an idiot. I mean, because there's, there's no, like, edge to it, really. And it's no, not... It's not no. Yeah. But why can't you just write a profile piece on somebody randomly? Like, why, why is that such a bad thing anyway? Well, a profile on Liz Holmes, well, I think, about, would be good, but on, it should... How about a profile on Ghislaine Maxwell? And, you know, what a nice person she is. I would definitely is. like to read that. I, I wouldn't have a problem with that. If, if it was just she's a great person? Oh, no, not a flattering profile. I mean, I... This is a flattering profile. It's yes. pretty flattering. Yeah. You didn't read it, but it's a flattering profile. <laughs> no, I read it, but... You read the whole thing? Yes. 
The whole. Th- if yes. I quiz you on it, you'll, you'll answer questions correctly. Probably not because I don't remember it, but I did read the whole thing. Yes. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Go ahead. What were you saying, Alex? Uh, no, I was just saying I think the report I got rolled. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What else, Dave? Uh, what do you think of the Pat McAfee deal to ESPN? Uh, fine. I, I don't know. One of your favorites. Yeah, I'm happy for him, I guess. I have nothing against the guy, but I don't know. They're just going to put him on like 70 different shows. I'm more upset yeah. that Dan Rapport is on part of my take. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on it. Dan Rapport's on it? <clears throat> That's right. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, this is PGA week. I don't know why, you go with Ray. why do you not go with Riggs? Is that because Rappaport's like the real journalist? Because Riggs something? hates uh, Dan, I guess, probably. Uh, I don't know. We could ask Riggs. I have no idea. It's a yeah. speculation. I don't yeah. know. But it was hurtful. Mm. Yeah. You think Dan Rappaport knows more about the PGA than I do? That's a good point. Because well, he sucks some guy's dick doing some cabbie thing? All due respect, mm. Alex. No, it's not a criticism. No offense taken. Yeah, yeah. not criticism, but I'm just saying, you know. That's an inside look, though. That's true. If they, if, they, yeah. if, if they put content of him blowing various PGA players, <laughs> I would watch that. Phenomenal. That'd be good content. Sounds like a good story to me. The old very, boss very quick about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, what's I think of Pat? I, I, like, he's just a, he's perfect for them. He has no. Why did know. he lose with FanDuel? What happened? Who knows? But $120 million but deal? A, but he's a vanilla guy. Like, he will be a corporate guy. He'll go on. No, the show's not changing. They're a wild yeah. and crazy show. He'll it's be not on with changing. Stephen A and he'll be on college football. Yeah, they'll just work him do, to death. Yeah, that's it. He'll be, and he'll do his. I've never seen a show to be. I saw him one time. He had Vince McMahon on. I watched 20 Hard hitting, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Actually, he reminds me of Scott Solak. I watch it in clips. No one ever watches the show, right? You see the clips on social media. I don't watch those. Dave likes him. I have nothing against the guy. I wish him well. It's it's. I think he's interminable. I am not a fan. Yeah, I don't. I, for ESPN, I don't see the value, but I'm well, sure I'm wrong. I'm sure I'm wrong. Well, he has like what two point two million YouTube subscribers, so they think that I don't know if like a few hundred thousand people watch him during. And maybe the well, the, you know, that, the ads that they could sell, Dave, Dave you like this point? Yes. The ads that they could sell on his videos on like social media, YouTube. They're probably counting on that to like. What's the average age well, of an well, no ESPN shit, Alex. That's, that's yeah. why they're paying. Smart. Him. They're trying yeah. to make it younger by Harry <laughs> Mack. I'm exactly. a media guy. You, you, I know this. You, you, you yeah. use advertising yeah. to pay a salary, but, but not on TV though. On social media, oh, it's a new cool. world. Oh, he's, wow. a world. <laughs> he's a safer version of what they're trying to do with with PMT. Right? They, they didn't want to be associated with Barstool. Now McAfee's like a Barstool guy not oh, tied into Barstool. It's a pretty safe show. That's where they were wrong. It's not like it's yeah. having this show. Oh, I t- they, the skipper screwed that up. But I mean, in this case, it's they disassociated now. They get that same audience and they try to get younger and make money off it. But can I, I just don't want to Can you work on canceling Big Cat after having Rapport on? There's, there's still, isn't there? I'm on it. Definitely. Right, thank you. Yeah, get yeah, to work yeah. on that, please. Yeah, Jeez, really. Speaking of which, by the way, uh, if you go to StellaBlueCoffee.com, Use my name, Kirk. Dan's my friend, so you, you leave him alone. He's a new dad. Tap us off your next order. Uh, are you a coffee trick or mud or no? Stella Blue right here. Is it really? Let mm-hmm. me hear that. How was mm. it? There you go. Delicious. Really? Best coffee I ever had. Is it the best? Oh, yeah. there you Free go. delivery now with, uh, I got through Amazon, I think. Amazon Prime, next yep. day shipping. You have Amazon? Look at you with Amazon. I can next still afford it amazingly. Amazon <laughs> Prime. Uh, get your coffee now before they sell it. <laughs> they will. Uh, uh, StellaBlueCoffee.com. My name, Kirk. K-I-R-K, 10% off your next order. StellaBlueCoffee.com, promo code Kirk for 10% off your next order. Our great friend Dan Katz is great company. StellaBlueCoffee.com, my name, Kirk. Uh, we like these tweets. We're getting a bunch of them. Keep sending them to us. I know Dan likes them as well. Uh, what else? Uh, Ordway was actually on yesterday with yeah. Bob Wobel. <laughs> I know. What's Mud was telling me about yeah. this before the show. <laughs> it's a great listen on the way yeah. in. <laughs> he did. Hey, he gave you credit yesterday, though. He said nice things about you. Oh, he's a, he, he's a lot of minute hand on yeah. this. A lot of minute hand. Bob Lobel? Bob Lobel and Lobel, Mike Lynch and saw, Hank Morse. Last time I saw Lobel, he was in the bed. With Steve, <laughs> with, Burton. With Steve Burton on you see the that? sports final. No. That was rough. Yeah. To, to, Why? To describe how big Lobel was as a kid in Boston. He was the biggest news figure in Boston. Like number one, legitimately. And now he's interviewing Mike Lynch, who I like, by the way. He's in, from Winchester. Another giant. And, yeah. And then this old, short, <laughs> fat loser in Arizona. Just, tan, by the way. He looks tan. Just looks good. I saw him a couple months ago at the Super Bowl. Just trying to get to the next day. Just maybe I'll play some golf. <laughs> just calling Doug, calling me, calling you, waiting to watch his games at night. And now he's, I mean, is there anything you won't do at this point? Yeah, he said nice things about you. It's a nice, you know, you got like There's nobody in the business I like more than Glenn. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Uh, Mutt, you know, it turned his back on me. So Glenn never did that. Glenn had yeah. your back. Glenn had Alex's back. Big Show Unfiltered, remember? Definitely. Obviously. He did. Glenn was huge in my career. So, Big Show Unfiltered was really unfiltered. It was like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so, no, you're using the same unf- unfiltered. Which one? Did it make you uncomfortable how dangerous it was? At times? A little bit. My yeah. Yoannis Cespedes takes were out of this world. <laughs> We is, the internet, is the internet down again? Oh, we're not on. We're not Cesspa, on. this is staying the same hotel we are. His car is crazy. <laughs> such, a, such a Jerry's take oh, on him. He was obsessed with it. What kind of car is that? 
That's Jerry, a Jerry thing Jerry, you get obsessed Jerry, with. Jerry, I don't know, Jerry. So he's on with Bob Lobel, who yes. was an old, if you're not from here, many people aren't, was an old uh, sportscaster, 11 o'clock news in Boston. I don't know. I know Hank Morris's. I just don't know him. And Lynch, was the same thing. Did, uh, and, he, and he's had some health issues recently. Yes. Yep. Um, all right, go ahead. And the station was was in the, the, the doldrums, and then they rejuvenated it again because Kirk Menahan right, was on. a crazy. All right, well. I'm gonna. T- I think I'm about to take back everything I said about Kawhi. He's doing you're very going well. To. Wait, you're really going to? And the other next name he brings up. I'll give you a weird one. When I saw him in Arizona, like I don't know if it's because of the, he's like six two now. Ah, <laughs> like six two one eighty. He looks. Next thing you'll be taking his MPEC, Glenn. <laughs> he looks like Army Hammer, and, and he reminds me of Army Hammer a lot of ways. Oh, don't say. Yeah. It was true. <clears throat> All right, go ahead. As Kirk Menahan, who's a crazy man, crazy I love man. him dearly, but he's also really smart and understands this stuff and is extremely entertaining. So he combines with Jerry. They bring the whole thing back with Dino. And suddenly, well, look at the, the ratings, 2017, 2018. They bring me back. We're back to number one. We're beating 98.5. We're on FM. But the the recording of our phone conversation. <laughs> Every phone conversation I had with Glenn in the last six years. I was going to say, <laughs> he's had this conversation a couple times with me. <laughs> I think there's like a Glenn doll. If you pull nobody it, like, loves signal talk more than Glenn. It's not what I said. Yeah. It's like Ryan Manan's old Urkel doll. So like you, you have like the six sayings on it. Like you know, if you if you pull the Glenn Crazy doll, man. Yeah, it's got you know, it's got the. We didn't have an FM signal. Okay, pull it again. Here they fired Pete. They took Pete <laughs> off our show. Eight fifty a.m. right now was the signal we had when we were getting 18, 19, 20 shares. It is now a station that is getting a zero. Zero, nothing. So that was the first mistake that they made. Um, like, Glenn, can you come in for dinner? Like, <laughs> you're retired. Is it, go, go. Glenn, can you put the cover for the pool? Like, it's gonna, it's gonna rain today. Like, I, I, I got I, Hank Morse. I got to do the show. With it. <laughs> go ahead, Glenn. We were at a a meeting with with a corporate. Hold people. on, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> This is going to be hard. I'm going to try my best. What is he going to say? They told us they'd rather finish sixth and be in no trouble than finish first. I go to this corporate meeting, and in the meeting, they told us to tame everything down. (laughs) I remember it like it was yesterday. Remember everybody's look around the room. We would rather have you guys fifth in the rating with no controversy than be number one and have all of this controversy. We can't deal with any nice. of this controversy. But guys, the, that right there was, was the it. final nails that on the it. coffin of WEEI. It's not the, wrong. But the question is, though, how about 27th with no controversy? <laughs> is that better than one with controversy? Or? Our mom was like, somebody, you can finish fifth? Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Mutt and Callahan, hey. Mutt at night was fifth last, uh, last fall. Yeah, Mutt and Callahan, the biggest loser move I have done in a long time was looking at the Mutt and Callahan, like, Fall ratings when the last EEI ratings book came out. But that was a Kirk and Callahan book, though. Like, Angusters. But that wasn't gone yet. That was why. Like, I left in November. Like, it was still the middle of that book. People were, the first half were still still. Oh, sorry, around. winner. I think I looked at a winner book, actually. That probably wasn't great. It was, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Stop sevens. Five. Sevens. Yeah. 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 Sevens, what happened? In, so that was the 2018. Like winter 70. of 19, I think. Winter of 19. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the Red Sox won the World Series in 18? They did. And the Patriots won the Super Bowl in 19? They did that season. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. That must, must be tough to finish fourth. Well, no one was listening to me for Patriots talk. Come on. That was the, that was the draw. I would have done, done like an 18 that book. You think so? I yeah, I think know. so. Well, not not after that meeting. Not after that corporate meeting. I'm sure <laughs> Glenn, was, not, Glenn is not wrong about it. Were you in that meeting or not? Was that the, the, the training meeting? The training session we had? The uh, whatever it was called. The behavior uh, training. Yeah, were you there? Yeah, of course. You were there. For, okay, when I didn't say a word. Everybody but... just yelled at me for the last hour. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you Jerry, deserved it. it. Jerry was on uh, in Florida. Speaker on speaker. <laughs> <phone>. Hello, <laughs> this is Tracy. What the fuck is this thing working? That's so weird. They shut down the station for a day. And they put me on so the air weird. at six, and I get to talk about it. Mike Florio. Was that who it was? In the morning, didn't Florio yeah, show was it was in for oh, us. That yeah, day? Uh, yeah, they syndicated that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that's fucking funny. Yeah. Jesus, that's wild, crazy. Anyway. Who did you just write? Oh no, that was Breer, right? That wasn't Florio. Yeah, but Breer went after the NFL. Oh, yeah. I saw that. for layoffs yeah. after yeah, signing the deal with Peacock. I give him credit. Yeah, 
You would have done that if you were still at NFL.com, right? Definitely would have done it. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. you, you can make the same argument with Disney. Then they just lay off a shitload of people and they just shelled out millions. Yeah, it's terrible. Out. Bad optics. Yes. Might be an awful announcing column later. You'll have to see. But they're trying to make oh. money off McAfee. Yeah. But it's bad. It's a bad look. It's a bad look. To pay Pat McAfee? Yeah. You think he's going to make you money? Yeah. The other one, I agree with Breer. Like, that's, but really? Yeah. I mean, because McAfee is like, he's just a shill. Oh, I agree. But, yeah. I, but at least they're trying to make money. I guess. Like, well, what are the owners? What are the Peacock owners? Just, make Peacock, the rich owners are just fucking. Yeah, yeah. Getting, they're they're all they make like people. individually, they probably get two million of that. That of how much is it? Uh, hundred million. Hundred ten, I think. Yeah, probably if that. Yeah. 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 So. The assholes. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna get Peacock to watch the playoff game? I have Peacock. Oh, Harry likes WWE. Do you uh, have Mutt Peacock? I do. It's so an NFL yeah. playoff game. We exclusively have Peacock. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Holy shit! Mm. Jesus, what a disaster! I wonder if WWE is leaving Peacock. Actually, they didn't talk about them yesterday. And Who didn't? The, at their upfronts, they didn't talk about WWE. Uh, so probably, they probably are. I wonder are. if ESPN is maybe talking to them because of McAfee and all that stuff. Who knows? And they have, well, who they say? They Endeavor bought them? Yes. Okay. Who they have Which is in bed with? with ESPN. Oh, For probably. the UFC. Yeah. Who's Endeavor? That's uh, Ari Gold, uh, right? Uh, what's his face? I was going to say Ari Emanuel. Ari Gold, right? Oh, Ari Emanuel. Yeah. Ari yeah. Gold is Ari Emanuel. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So how would that work? So it would just be like a Monday night on ESPN? They, they can't do that. Uh. I don't know. I don't know. Or it might be on ESPN <clears throat> Plus. I mean, that's just a subscription. That's not yeah. Peacock. What, what kind of ratings does WWE do today? <clears throat> Today's world's still okay. Like a couple what? million people watch it. Oh, yeah? Which is better than, like, you know, most things. Yeah, I think that's okay, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. What else? Uh, that Jackson Mahomes thing sounds way worse. Uh, did you see that article yeah, yesterday? They, like, Jesus Christ. They grabbed a woman by that, her neck. Did you see that Becky Hammond story? I did, but I didn't, I didn't read too deeply into she's it. She's a queen, though, right? Uh, she's mother. She's mother. Yeah, she's a sports <laughs> mother. Oh, well, she's not a queen. No. No, Queen's oh, out. It's Billie Jean out. King a queen. Billie Jean King, Billie Jean King is the king. I mean, she's just the she's the best. But she oh, she's not a queen. Uh, I mean, she's above everything. She's oh. number one. Jesus. Well, I bring the most influential out athlete in sports. Really? Yeah. You think that? Definitely. Not Aaron Rodgers. Not Aaron Rodgers. Okay. No. Who's obviously not gay. I read a great. Oh, I, I, by the way, a great podcast that you'd like behind the blinds. Behind the blinds. Yes. It's like blind items about all these celebrities, and there was one about Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. A few months ago. It's very good. Really? Yes. Huh. Behind the blinds. Behind it's a good podcast, the... Mutt. Why don't you, why don't you host that, Mutt? I, I'd, I'd be available. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting around. Let's go. Behind the blinds. Yeah, behind the blinds. <laughs> Blind items. Let me see here. And they get around to like, you know, the famous quarterback who won next Super Bowls. Troy and Kelly host this. Troy and Kelly. Yeah. All right. Marky little, Mark. Oh, Marky Mark. Yeah. You know, that was going to happen. There's a great, there's a great Ellen DeGeneres one. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Sam Thomas and she just looked at him to fuck you. She spit on him. She kicked him in the balls. What's that, Jerry? <sighs> you were on Jerry's show. I was. Yes. Have you talked to him at all? I have not talked to him in a long time. I, the last time I called him once was when I think we were in like the midst of the COVID lockdowns, and I went through like my like red pill phase where I was right wing for a couple of weeks. I remember this. I remember yes. you embraced this. Yes, yeah. I embraced this. Yes. So I think I called him to rant and rave about our tyrannical government well, this should take locking down us down. Jerry's basically just come out and been like, I fucking hate the gays. He, it's beneath him. I okay. would say. You, it's I mean, beneath him. Do you feel like, he, do you feel like he, you know him? Do you feel like he uh, believes No, no he's obviously selling? lying. He's obviously lying. You think he's just trying to. I think he's just try. I think he thinks that's just what he needs to do to make it in this world. Just be as like the same as everybody else, basically. Yeah. And, and I, ironically, what hurts Jerry is he's an old white guy. I mean, if he was, you know, let's say like anything else in saying this stuff, they would prop him up. True. He's Autogynophilia. Yeah. So that's right. the that's the irony there. <clears throat> but yes, yeah. I did go on the Jerry Call the Jerry Callahan show went downhill. Ironically, when. We stopped doing in person. You know, Jerry was very against the lockdowns, but we were yeah. the first to go remote, stay yes. remote. Yeah, it was very <laughs> weird. He still does a remote. Yeah, yeah for like so. three years. Oh, you were with Colin Ain then, right? That yeah, was, that probably was also to do with me. I know, I know, I was pro a pussy. Yeah, 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 because yeah, my, my wife wanted me home to be honest. That was popcorn yeah. here. You guys came and did the shows. Throughout. Fuck yeah. EEI too, right? It was in person. No, they were remote a lot, right? Uh, we were remote for months. Oh, uh, months. Yeah. Months, oh, I, months, months. Steve was, Steve, oh, Steve was actually pretty nervous He, pre he first. predicted it, didn't he? he, he said well, it. because at first it was kind of a right-wing thing to think it was like the end of the world. Like Tucker Carlson was right. very into it right. early on because it was right. very China and the Wuhan, but then, yeah, then, then they became, flipped. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And by the way, it turned out they were actually right about this one. Who? The right was right about the, the overreaction. Uh, to the, to we we were lied to about many things. Yes, I, I mean they, they were yes. they were not they were not wrong. I, you know, I, I grabbed that one early on. I but I've been I, you all all up in your boosters, man. I have nineteen booster shots. Oh, are you a booster <laughs> guy or no? No, no, you're not. No, you've not been vaccinated. I, I think I got the first shot and that was. How it. about your kids? Get out. First shot. Only the first. That's one. That's it. That's it. 
Oh, that needs to be. That just knocked you off YouTube. By but you need that, to be so like. Uh, but I, nineteen you, boosters. You had to get yeah, at least nineteen. two though to go anywhere, right? Like even like out to dinner. The fir- but the first oh, that was the first set. It's a challenge for public school system. Oh, the first set was two shots. Whatever one I got. Oh, whatever was he had to get the first one. So he got two shots and he got two stamps on the the card we had to carry around. He got the regiment. So he got the first shot and the booster. No. Just the first no, shot. The first two. Oh, the first three two. Later, yeah, there were two shots. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, sick yeah, initially, yeah, yeah, and then you yeah, go back yeah, three yeah. weeks yes. later. And got no, I got sick the second time. Did you? Yo, yes. But I've been boosted. Well, I haven't been boosted in a while, but I, I'm. I think I'm up to date. They still offering boosters? I yeah. Have no idea. It's like five or six Should out. Definitely. Really? Have you yeah. had them all? I've I had the first one like a year and a half ago. I haven't had it since. And that's it. Two years yeah. ago. I mean, it's uh, you know, calling it. Oh, all of them. Really? Yeah. Yep. Is that true? I think so. Yeah. What was it? At least. At least mm. two of them, uh, maybe three. I don't know. Yeah, and I go to very high risk environments too. So that's a know, good point. But it's it's that, fine. That is a good point. <laughs> it's fine. It's good for the immune system. It's like what what Carlin say? You swim in the. That's true. What river? <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you know, any boyfriends or no? No, not nothing. But very much looking to meet one. So if any of your listeners out there, oh, gee, how do you do? What's, I mean, what's I mean, the with your audience? Let's go. I don't, I don't think you want that. No, I don't think you need that. You know, I met a guy a few weeks ago who said he called in to the Kirk and Callahan show once, looking to date me. I guess really? we were soliciting dates. Yeah, was he an attractive guy? He was very, very attractive. Yeah. Older than you or no? Around my age. He's a big OnlyFans star now. So who's that? Uh, I'm embarrassed. I don't know what's who this his name. Is. <laughs> Nick. Nick Webb. I don't know. I forget. His okay. Name. Yeah. Yeah. You, what's your What is your ideal guy? Like, are you older? And, uh, around my age, a little older, perhaps, but really someone who I vibe with on an emotional level. Ooh. I'm really. I'm into. I'm rich, into that. Sure. Rich. 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 Money. You're, 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 I'm not you're an emotially vacant person. I am not emotionally <laughs> you vacant. Definitely. Are. I like to talk about myself and my yes, fight that, life. That's, that's, uh, that's hard. Be, that's the biggest issue. That's hard. That's, you, I'm I abandoned. Don't, I don't think you care about your partners. That is thought. not. That is you not are true. about you. I care about what they think about me. Correct. That's what I, mean. <laughs> I care it's about it, their it, bank account. Yeah. It well, no, I there. don't. No, no. I actually have never and never would date anybody for money. It actually is a turnoff if I meet someone and they're very wealthy and act like it. So oh, they act like yeah, it's yeah, a turnoff. Yeah. But I think my if big, they're rich your, and your, act poor. Your, okay? your biggest issue is that you you don't care about the other person. I told you I care about whether that's what they think about me. That's gonna. No, I do care about the other person. I've I have a lot of beautiful people in my life. What does that mean? I have great. I have, I have a great support. I have a great support system. Support system for what? Great family. Great friends. Yeah, I'm sure I couldn't ask for anybody. Your mom's better. a nice woman. She's a great yeah, woman. Yeah, your dad, whatever. He great guy. One of the biggest assholes great guy. of all time. I have Matt, Matt, Matt Reamer. Reamer? Huh? Yeah, what? Matt Reamer. Matt What's Reamer. the? Because nice he guy. expressed condolences when one of your parents passed. No, but he like. I remember he was like. Oh, he took some. Hey, he, and he wanted. He did not take. What was? I don't remember. What was? I have no memory. And he wanted you to maybe get me back on the air. Oh, that's right. That's what the was. He used my parents' death to be like. Oh, well. Now that you're now that your parents. It was basically like this. Yes, you're right. It was like that was your parents and maybe give you some new perspective on Alex not being. What the yeah. fuck are you talking? Because he was a father and he liked hearing me on your show. Why weren't you on the air then? Because it wasn't Brady. Yeah, because you banned me for going on Comcast Sports now. Oh, that was a low moment oh, in your life. It was a low moment in your life. It was a low moment. Pathetic. Mo- going there. You never asked for permission to just, go on yeah. TV. Just, just weeping the just, having like you know the bow, program director bow, threatened bow, to, you know bowing fire the me. Felger about how oh, yeah. oh god I forgot. Well, I'm a it? huge Felger guy. Oh, it was a totally wrong. It was a totally I nominated Felger, I can say it now, for Bostonian Media Personality of the Year. Wow. Last year, Why anonymously, did he, did for he Boston it? Magazine. He got it, yeah. I, you should. Who else I would get it? out, it? exactly. It's like Monster ratings. Who the fuck else would you give it to? Yeah. Greg Hill? Uh, Jesus, Rachel Kurt, Rollins? Uh, Chris Curtis making a Chris Curtis? Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Rachel Rollins, yeah. She, Jerry probably likes that story, huh? Didn't she resign yesterday well, she or something? She deserved it. She's a fucking scumbag. Remember she yelled at that Fox 25 reporter? Remember that oh. they were on her prize. She's like, I'll find right. it. I'll get yes. your name. Like, yep. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry was very, Jerry was very happy. I'm what did sure. she do? She like violated some kind of ethics. She went to a Biden fundraiser in Andover, <laughs> which you can't do if you're a fucking DA. Yes. Like, that's yeah. that, 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 that suggests there may be some Wait, ways I'm, you may be swayed. You, you don't do think she was swayed anyway? But, like, you, but, uh, but you can't, but you can't do that. If you're, if you're the, no, the bad one, if you work for the, you know, you just can't do that. So what's her argument for going? She was probably just trying to like meet somebody or She's something. Stupid like that. is probably her argument. Well, they she pic- just resigned right away. Pictures right? of her walking. They had pictures of the car, her walking into the house. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yep. Yep. But yeah, but she's clearly an asshole. So see you later. Anyway, what else? Oh, one thing I was going to mention, you talk about meetings. We should mention this with Alex. We, I don't think we've ever talked about this because we really could talk about that. Alex was in the meeting with Murchison. I was. He was in the room. Yes, I was. Phil Zachary's strategy was, oh my was transgender issues. So must be gay. Let's bring, let's well, bring, let's bring. The let's, original let's, strategy <laughs> that was relayed to me was perhaps I could find the son on Facebook and maybe like connect with him. 
See oh. if you want to take meat for coffee or something. Oh, like a like a possible, just you know a romantic. Uh, uh, no, 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 oh, no. But like a peer talking know. to another peer. Sure, yeah, right. Just, just a couple you know, bros just, no, just, just talking just about talking you shit, right? <laughs> in your in your no. in your hate. What? That is not a true story. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I think, not, not for me. No, you suggested that, was, that. Not by me. I didn't suggest that. People in people in management. management to, to be to be very clear, it was not Kirk Minahan Kirk, or Jerry Callahan. No, neither of you told me no, that. I no, told you. Nobody. I, I, I told you to fuck him. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, take video of it, please. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I no. was in that meeting. That was a. It was so that me. Was a great meeting. So me, Alex, Jerry. Phil Zachary, Phil Zachary and Joey, I think. Joe Zarbano there, yeah. for no reason. And, Bob and, me, and me for the ultimate no reason. I mean, I was sure. like on no, the show like once Phil a Zachary's week. old. He's like, well, he's gay. That's like transgender, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I really, that really was it. No. So, so, and uh, Murchison. This is the very right. beginning of it. Right. So we're there for, I mean, we are going in circles like, and it wasn't, I, if you remember, not super unfriendly the first half hour. No, it was fine. No, Phil was the one who blew up. Yeah. He like slammed his hands on the table so or something. And we're going in out. circles and, and Murchison just kept saying, Call, do you have Merchison's number? Yeah. Call him. We'll see you. What? You guys are in tandem now anyway, right? You and Merchison? I'm trying to keep... Yeah. I'm, I am Mr. Transgender. Oh, yeah. No, t- well aware of that. Yeah. To the left of Lenin. Which, by the way, you would agree... Some people were disputing this. Seven or eight years ago, I was the exact same way. You've become much more left-leaning since you've been on the show. Shall that be homo? <laughs> is that better? <laughs> well, because you're not trying... Because you're not trying to... Because you're not trying, you're not trying to pander to, you know... It's to, also just to more time to... Jerry's you're audience. Not, you're not talking sports shit. You're not taking... I'm not more, I'm not more left-leaning. That's not true. That's just not true. I've always been the same. You haven't always. changed. The world has. Is that what they no, say? Wh- where? Give me an example. You are much more, I think... That's not an example. What's an example? <laughs> What are you? You're, what are you smiling at? <laughs> like your 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 standpoint on social issues is much more left leaning. Uh, seven years ago, I was pro choice. Seven years ago, I was pro gay rights. That's right. We did have abortion Wednesdays. Yeah, so I was pro. I, right. I mean, I've, I've never. I, I have not changed. At the you're right. The world has changed. The, the extreme right has gotten crazier. And the extreme left has gotten crazier. You're in the middle. I've stayed in the same. You're in the middle spot every single time. Keeps Obama up at night. Actually, didn't that just happen? What's that? That's his biggest. Uh, that's his biggest like fear right now. A divided media. Who you? Divided world. President, president Obama's a great man. He's a great president. Yeah. I hope he runs again. Great book collection. Great book collection. Definitely watches those movies every year and reads <laughs> yeah. those books. No he has a podcast, right, for Spotify? Didn't he have he one? Did, he did. Yeah, he did. Well, he had, yeah, he had one with Springsteen, too. Excellent. What, what, else yeah. what a racket together. that contract was. Maybe him and Mucho. Oh, I, 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 I like Obama. He's, you would like him if you knew him. <laughs> Uh, well, where, I don't know him, but everybody, like everybody that you've seen <laughs> this book club or something. No. What is going he seems on? like I would I would like hanging with him. Maybe it was good stories. You're a fucking idiot. What are you talking about? He threw a huge rager during COVID. He like uh, you know defied the lockdown rules. Here you, go, here, here you go. I'll toss I'll toss these guys one. I'd much rather spend the day with Trump than with Obama. Ten times no. no. Oh my oh, god. Trump would be oh, the character ten, of Trump. Ten, ten times out of line. ten. Trump is exhausting. You wouldn't? In a second. I think Trump that, over no. Obama. Golf? No. no. Laughs. Obama loves Laughs. golf. He's playing golf yesterday just with Don Just a comedy. But Trump, but Trump though is so tedious. Like I saw that CNN oh, Town Hall. Oh, he's Obama, tedious. Obama's so thoughtful. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, much more so than God. much cooler than Trump. Who are you picking his bracket with Andy Katz this year? No, he does the men and the women's bracket. Is he still friends with Meghan Markle and 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 Harry? Still friends with those guys? Call Bob. <clears throat> Use your real number too, Dave. That's be my advice for you. Because you might have a different perspective. That's where we Bob dial. Oh, no, it's just Hello? a message. Oh, uh, Bob. Yes. Hey, live tape. Kirk Minahan. I have Alex Schremer here. We're just trying to go over that meeting we all had that day at uh, at the Intercom Studios. I was wondering if you had some recollection on that. No, I don't. You don't remember it? No, I don't. You have no memory, Bob, of the meeting that you, me, Alex, Jerry, Phil Zachary had when you and Phil Zachary screamed at each other and you left? We got him. Crazy wow. he answered. We got like, he's starting, I've won this guy over with my pro-transgender takes. <laughs> yes. Do you think he like, know, he definitely knows who you are. Like, <laughs> you are. Like, no, I don't think he knows who I am. But like, he was acting like he didn't know. Like, That's a weird. That's the first time he answered? I, you know, no, should, he you, answered before. What Bob, what Bob and I should have done there was been like Fred and Rich and just talked about a random topic and not even acknowledge the other stuff. <laughs> But like, I mean, there's Jimmy, game, there's game one. Game to like Jimmy Butler's Jimmy Butler. I mean, I, you know, I don't know, Bob. What do you think? Could have done that. That's the most Bob has talked to us, though. Definitely. 
Huh. He was sort of into. I sound like kind he'll, of into that conversation. He'll be he'll be, he'll be he'll be he'll be sitting there. Friday morning. He'll be sitting there at some point. I think. <laughs> I think you think so? Well, he and I have gotten together to try and take down Jerry's show. Who's, who's going to sit here? There's first. no advertising. We've, we've, we keep we keep calling. <laughs> there's a coffee company. That's it's his own, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I had to read from Bar by Barcel. So so we're about uh, 45 minutes into this meeting, which you really Bob denies. We did have that meeting. Yeah, I was there. And like. Eventually, Phil Zachary basically says to him, "Like if your if your son had any balls, he'd be in this something wildly <laughs> offensive. He'd be in this meeting. more offensive than anything that was ever well, uttered I remember, on air. I remember I literally did like this, like, <laughs> well, and Merchant was like, "Fuck you!" And Phil's like, "Fuck you!" And then they get out of there. I loved like, him. He was great. Zachary, Phil Zachary, yeah, he was he was oh, good. Yeah, that he, seems like a sane approach. He was he, he was a great guy. guy. He, he was, was really great. rational. He was he was hot and cold. Yeah, I liked Phil, but when things were bad, Phil would become kind of an asshole but oh, when really? things were good Phil would be great but oh, so like he's, he's playfully the only did music trivia with Mike Adams remember yeah. that he went on the air did music with Mikey all the, he's a salesman is always is. he's he an is. actor he, he was an asshole guy. to the sales guys we, you go well, to that they, meeting they, at Fenway Park well, they all oh that was crazy you should line them up and go you know, <laughs> Dave play the sound so I'd do all these sales people if I was Phil go ahead Dave <laughs> yeah I just every just just every single one of them I don't know Um. so that was I remember then being like well I, and then we, I drove back home and I got him, Bob on the phone. And I said, Bob, just give us like a week and we'll try and figure something out. Just don't call these fucking advertisers. He's like, sure, no problem. And I called him at that rotary at a fresh pond, you know. I was en route too and the salesperson texted me and said he's already calling advertisers. So I was like, well, that's it. By the way, if Phil hadn't done that, the same thing would have happened. So it, it doesn't matter. No, it's just a great moment. It was, it was, it was so was funny. Insane. <laughs> in. Same. No, it was the strangest place to work that anyone could ever work if they were if you worked. That's in what ER. Glenn said with these guys. Like, strange. Write place. a book. So, so write a so book on weird. It. Is, am I like him telling Reamer to do that? If that's real, that's like really fucked up. I mean, I am think I they're. they're that, am I reading that wrong? Well, he didn't say no, Phil. no. He didn't say Phil did it. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's in management. <laughs> Someone <laughs> in management. That's really fucked up. I well, think. I think. Well, I don't know if it's you go catfish this guy. In your <laughs> per, I mean, I, 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 didn't it to pretend. You're a young guy. You're, maybe you guys yeah, it, was, it was obviously <laughs> a sad and desperate yeah, attempt. I mean, do. it was not obviously a very well thought out I idea. There was, but there was, was there sarcasm attached to this? No. Request? No, not at all. Uh, no, no, I was I, very I, genuine. I bled out for W E E I. Bled out. Bled out. I ruined relationships. I ruined, you know, ruined my life basically to get a spot on the casting couch. It was worth it though. And it was worth it. It was four hours getting ripped. Hosted with Mark James. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got fucking Jeff Lowe defending Fram as an MVP candidate on Twitter right now. The people. Oh no. What are we I, doing? That's not good. I may not. Maybe I won't go next week. What's next week? Shut up, Alex. Okay. <laughs> what else, Dave? Uh, nothing great. Nothing exciting. No? No, I don't think so. Well, tell us about Mustack. What's going on there? Uh, big week for Preakness. We'll have a show tomorrow with myself, Dick Girardi, Jessica Paquette, previewing the Preakness. <laughs> podcast will be up Thursday. Live show tomorrow morning. Live show tomorrow up, morning. Up as a podcast in the afternoon, and then uh, full Friday four-pack on Friday. We'll have some Preakness stuff. Then Saturday, Preakness preview, Saturday morning. Okay. I like it. So we've got a lot of content that I He's the horse that was the favorite that didn't run. Is he going to be at this race? He cannot run. He's in the vets list. What do you mean? <sighs> In Kentucky, when you're placed on the vets list, you can't run for 14 days. And he got scratched by the veterinarian in the morning of the race. Oh, it's, that's 14 Guy days later. Nick Smith, who's taken a lot of heat for scratching that horse. A lot that four, it's 14 days later? Yeah. Oh, so that's... So literally, was, he could race. If the Preakness was Sunday, he could race. So if, he got, if, something, if he, they pulled him out on a Friday, he'd be able to he race. He could race, yes. Huh. Do you think he'd be able to race right now or not? Yes, I think he's healthy enough to race. Why'd they scratch him? What was his injury? They claimed it was he was off on his left... So why is he allowed to live? Left hind. What do you mean? Why don't they shoot him? Because it literally is like I know why. It, because because he's gonna fucking no make a no shit no. All the money it's not that big, not, the, not a big no injury. Question. Don't suggest no, nothing about a stallion syndication no deal. No question. He had a, is a hoof injury. Look, look at that, Alex. Then they He'll send be back them out the and they just like like just jerk him off, and then they make kids that run around in circles. It's so fucked up. You're a fucked up person for liking this. Okay, then I am. So, so the argument, the argument so is that these horses were born to run, basically. They're and bred to run. Yeah, but when they run too hard, they uh you know and you can't stand ever again. Watch them run. It is right? beautiful. Yeah, watch them work out yeah. in the morning. When, when, when Mutt's watching, when Mutt's watching the races, he's thinking how beautiful it is. Right? He's not thinking. Yeah, when you're there, sitting the, there in the morning at the track, the sun comes up over the you trees. You're looking at your they're fucking working out. sheets and gambling. Can you hear them? What that's what you're doing. Oh, what? Right there. That's the that's sound you hear down the track in the morning workouts. It's the best. Give me a PGA pick or two. Go ahead. Give me some. Uh, I wrote them down. Actually, Do you bring game, Alex, or no? No, I have no game. Sorry. <laughs> what? I thought you frowned upon that. No, we like games here. 
Uh, Chad, Chad Finn tweet. The interviews with Mike Gorman are the best segments on Boston <laughs> Sports Radio. Very insightful. Oh, incredible. Dale Arnold tweet. Have seen Taylor Swift three times, parentheses. I have daughters, and her stagecraft and showmanship is incredible. Oh, it I'm is. I'm talking about the and camera. I'm not talking about the camera you installed in her toilet there. <laughs> oh, that's not. <laughs> well, she's at Gillette this weekend. I wonder if Dale will be there. I will oh, be there on Sunday. There you go, Dale. Will you really? Yes. Wow. Yes. With I, who? I would love to sell them, but I can't. My Why? wife, our friends. Oh, yeah. Don't say that too loud. Do you have so them? You're going Sunday night to Taylor Swift. Swift. Sunday night, yep. yep. And you're going to be in New York on Monday for my interview with Portnoy? Got to do it, yeah. You're just going to go right from the concert? Yeah, we'll go to bed for three hours and then drive or something. Four Love hours. that lifestyle. <laughs> Why? What's a big deal? What are you laughing at? It's not going to work. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter if he's there I can smell a mile away. It doesn't matter. Someone at Barstool can do it. But I mean, if you don't want to go because of that, don't do it. No, I want to go. Is she playing Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Why, Saturday, What, ta- what time Both. do you leave when you go for the day? What time early. do you leave in the I'm morning? I'm up early. I go, yeah. Well, it's, what's it work for? You drive it, you leave yeah. it four? It's easy. It's nothing. Okay, I'll be in bed. You'll be in bed late. I don't think the I think the concert will go to like eleven. I will just get fucking out of It'd be easy to get out of there. Well, that wait, night, you don't think I have yeah. parking passes? How'd you get the, who, get the tickets from? I got connections. Buddy Gillette, right? I got connections. Yeah. yeah. One of my guys, I'm sure. <laughs> True or false? Uh from a while ago though. I think. Why 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 wasn't I offered these seats? You were. We got them. No, I don't want them. How about Springsteen? He's <laughs> doing two shows there. If you want them, I believe. It was amazing you got them. Yeah, you must time. be going. What do you mean you believe? You're getting tickets to Taylor Swift? I asked you if you wanted them and you said you didn't know yet. Yes. Get them. Okay. Get them or you're fine. You don't have them already? I got you, Taylor Swift. Just want to challenge him. What? <laughs> I got you, Taylor Swift. I don't want Taylor Swift. I'm a fucking guy. Oh, you have a daughter. Do. Jesus, she doesn't like Taylor Swift. And a lot Swift. of men like Taylor Swift. Men? Yeah, men. Men? Yes, <laughs> men. <laughs> Dale Arnold. Men. And that uh, now Al Michaels, right? Didn't he say in his apology that a lot of men like Taylor <laughs> what Swift? What a long moment to make right. that poor guy apologize. That old fucking guy. To make him apologize for saying, for suggesting his granddaughters <laughs> might like Taylor Swift. Well, men like him. Might men like her too. Uh, I, I, would, I would just say, I'm sure I'm sure she has many male fans. Uh, she I does. Take a look at the bathroom line on Sunday night. I'm going to guess it would oh, be yeah. larger for the females. Oh, Gillette Stadium probably has unisex bathrooms at this point, right? They wouldn't. They I don't know. Out there, uh, maybe. I don't oh, know. I don't know. If I, yeah, the hinter. Wins. I have some issues with Gillette. First of all, it's a Pepsi product place. And secondly, when the pretzels are bad, they're bad. They changed. Oh, that's right. They it was, changed. It was the best pretzel in the game. You can't do that then. Yep. So you and your wife are going? My wife, our best friends, my sister in law. How many tickets did you get? No, I only. Somebody bought like eight together or something like that. Yeah. I, the ones I bought, I act. Well, never mind. I shouldn't say that. Never mind. What? I gave them to somebody else so he could give Auction them, his, them off? Maybe so he could give them as a gift to his girlfriend. Maybe yeah. What? We didn't want to talk about that. I'm sure I didn't want to say. I gave him to Mike. I sold him to Mike. Mike Geary? Yeah. So it's because his wife's a big. You sold him to him? Yeah. For how much? Face value. How much was that? It's just classy move because I could have made fucking six six how, grand. How much was it? I think they were like three hundred a ticket or something. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mike's got Mike Mike good, good money. It. It's crushing hey, it's it's there. A ticket, right? ticket of the century. I know it's a big deal. Yeah. I did a podcast with Mike when he was at EEI. Should have dug. So I must have. He's the only one who didn't. I didn't go on. No. Big time. I had him on the air though. I had him on my show. Um. Him and Carabas, big stars now. You had Carabas? You made Carabas now. Oh, yeah, she sure did. Oh, you did? Uh, I haven't heard much from him recently. He's happy. He's happy. He's Making a lot of money. His baseball I, podcast with uh, Braden. I think a couple I, I actually think commercials. he's going to stay there for a while, <laughs> which I didn't think was the case, but I think he's going to do that. Dallas Braden was the guy next to Gwen Kuyper, right? <laughs> he he was. Says, <laughs> what's, what's, what's he going to say? No, no, right. It's I a mean, rough spot. Like, what are you supposed to say? What did you say? What? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah, you, I can't yeah. say that, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take some calls. See if people want to talk to Alex Freeman and Mike Manansky. Go to mudstack.com. Go uh, read Alex. Uh, you can go follow him on Twitter. Follow me on He's Twitter. Awful announcing in a queer T. Yes. Outsports, how other you, publications. How do you pick between the story on Outsports or queer T? Uh, queer T is more like general culture, entertainment. Oh, okay. Outsports is sports. Those, sto- those stories don't cross over too much, I wouldn't think. Not too much, no. But I mean, there are a lot of gay athletes who are also huge celebrities. Like Adam Rippon, you know, guess, but they're, they're kind of old stories. You seem pained to write about how bad 98.5 is beating EEI. When it's you write terrible. It's, 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 I'm just trying to add context to yeah. people who don't live in Boston and may not be they're aware of the them. ratings. But you can see Alex doesn't want to talk about it here, though. You are still tense to rip, rip EEI. Well, I just, I just don't want to say anything. You know, I want to make money. I want to have a, a vibrant You're never going to work at EEI again. I know, but I don't want to, you know, legal issues potentially, you know. What legal? I, I, have, I, I have you a, suggesting I have a, they said go to Facebook and find this guy might be I have a bullseye on my back. From who? Uh, from the company. Why? I, I, I'm a public enemy number one, you know? You think you think I don't? <laughs> <laughs> More than you. Yeah, maybe. No, I don't, just could be. I don't know. What, what do you want me to say? I was very disappointed that I was never given a, an on-air shift. What do you think of the current product? I think that... Um, 
I think that it's. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I don't. I don't fine. I don't think. It's, I, I don't too. think. I don't think it's at its best. I don't think it's very good. Okay. How about that? Well, well what do you want me to say? It's bolder than Bud is. I'll say that. Yeah. Bold. Mutt thinks Megan Mullally is great. I like Megan quite a bit. Is it on air personality? I liked working with her as on air personality. Well, you still listen yeah. though all the time. Oh, he I do listen. Mego, Mego. So you, you should. You're not listening anymore. No, I actually don't. Oh. I check out Felgi when I want a little sports I talk flavor. But but Mutt, Mutt will listen to like. I, Red Sox I sampled. I sampled. I listened to Rich Keefe last night. Is ten minutes in a Red Sox was, game. It was good. Yeah. You so about you should. You should do like draft a, lottery. You, you should do like an EEI recap blogger podcast after each day. But no one's listening. I don't listen no, that. But no one's listening to the show. No one's listening listen to the station. <laughs> but they listen to him. They listen to him. <laughs> if they called you and said, about "Hey, Rich is out for three weeks. Is he sick? No, no. You wouldn't fill in. No. You would. Crawl I wouldn't. I, I would not. I would. I would, I would see. And by the way, they wouldn't. So it's not a big deal. We know they would. I would not. Of course they wouldn't. I'm saying if they did, you would crawl. No. 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 Do you believe that? Uh, yeah, you would take it. Why not, though? I would have no shame if they offered me three weeks. I would not. No, for no, Keith. No, no. I would. I would jump in there. Okay. Yeah, check is a check. At least he's being honest. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? I would why not. Would, why? Because the the way it ended there, I was not a fan of. But they. But you filled in places where you got shit can be like midday and morning. I was still a full time employee there. I know, but you would go back to those shows, which is pathetic. This is pathetic. That too. wasn't pathetic. I was an employee filling in on a shift. I was still getting paid. This is going back to fill in for a show they fired me from. You know what? They should have oh. given Mutt afternoon drive. The, no, this last go so what, what, I, I agree. The only one to fail at. They blew it. it would have been, no, been, been, been a grand <laughs> slam. Such an asshole. It would have been great. That was unbelievable. Really if you Could have been mutt and you, Fourier. If you had lost in all four day parts, that would have been unbelievable. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so supportive. Oh, yeah, that would be so interesting. Good. That's what I mean. That'd be, un, that, that almost has to You know to what? Happen. I would do what Dale did. I put on my, I'd, <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> failed in all four day parts. That Dale brags about being the announcer, right? That makes Dale so happy. so proud that he did that. When's he going to come in here? You've been teasing. Dale's that. welcome in here yeah. anytime. I would do Dale and Mutt show together. You, you, I think you it's coming. I hope it's coming soon. <laughs> All right, you load up. Is yeah, he still doing those up. cameos? Uh, Dale? I don't know. Is he? Dale's, I, I haven't I, seen him. I, I Dale's know. cameos are hot. I feel like while, cameos yeah. slowed down, no? Am I wrong? Did you see Ben Mintz the other day? Yeah, they're not did that cameo anymore. with the Wu-Tang guy? Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Smart. That was funny. You can easily crop the cameo <laughs> portion out of that. I like Mintz is still working. He did like a restaurant burger review yesterday. I had a lot of views. People yeah. still want to follow this, this stuff. Who, Ben Mincy? Well, good. All right, hello. Good morning, Uncle Kirk. Good morning. Hello. It's Kata. Kata Maninsky. Okay. <laughs> hi, Dad. Dad, hi. It's like real life is ignoring him. Look at his phone. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Well, not wait, doing this. He's calling. Well, well, no. Go ahead. Please, Carter's Dad, at school. He's at school. Carter, you're at school. You no, you're at school, buddy. Home. Carter, why, why you would you be what, home? Why are you on speakerphone, you know, Carter? In the bathroom, Carter? Right, Carter, we'll talk to you later. That's a terrible... You, 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 if you're going to call, at least have a good connection, Carter. Uh, Odyssey stock down 35% this morning. To what? I guess 60, 60 cents? 6 cents? Not 60 cents. How can they... Really? I, Resume trading down 35% is the text I just got. Can't... I mean... I don't see that here. I see it frozen. Like, not, not selling right now. Well, they, they were still selling it today. You had to buy it physically. You had to go over to like a real stock exchange yeah, yeah, and hand the piece. Okay, you, you could get it. it. Yeah. Let's see. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Great show. Great to have uh, Mutt and Alex. It's wonderful. They're always two of my favorites. Oh, it's really Thank great you. to have them on the show. No trending. Um, I have a question for Dave. <laughs> <It's in> but <tomorrow. laughs> first, um, when you were telling that story, Kirk, about the Murchison meeting yeah. and bringing Alex in, uh -huh. it, didn't it remind you of the Mad Men episode where um, the company is going to be meeting with um, the owner of the department store and they happen to be Jewish. So, so they decide they need to have somebody Jewish in the meeting. That's but right. They don't have anybody. At, That's right. Yeah. Yes. So they bring in like a stock boy. That's right. That's Jewish. right. Remember that month? Remember Mad, was Man that? Mad Men, yeah. You don't remember that? They're selling to, yes, I do remember that episode. Uh, basically, Phil was like, Alex is gay. Like, Alex, why don't you spin around on the table? Like, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, for I'm, ha I'm happy to show off. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> show, tell me how gay you are. Yeah. <laughs> what else, Carl? Right? Um, so, I have a question for Dave. It's a follow up uh, to the Mother's Day issue. Mm -hmm. So, like the way Dave answers questions, you know, it kind of, he waffles on things. So I know, did his mother have to prepare any of the breakfast? Oh, good question. Is, is yeah. really thank you for the, thank you for the call. Solve it's it an all. important question. She, per, I'm trying to think of what she did, but it was very minimal. Me and my sisters did all, most of it. You yeah. gave her what for a gift? Uh, got nice flowers uh -huh. and we didn't get a group gift this year. Yeah. 
I know. What would I have gotten her? Did she just like? How do I know? She I likes know. flowers. She likes garden. flowers. Aren't a very appropriate. Yeah, she likes her. Yeah, that's what I did. It's not a birthday. I mean, they thing. get enough. I mean, you, you know, how many said things? The other day, it's just a stupid holiday for a card. And you did say that. That's why it was invented. Yeah. But, you're, but it might mean something to your mom. Uh, us all getting together and spending time together means the most to my mom. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, but experiences, not things. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you guys go on a big family yeah. trip together? We we're talking about it actually. Really? Yeah. We actually started moderately planning some stuff Sunday. Disney, right? No. Cruise, no, cruise. No, uh, not Myrtle Beach. Outer Banks. Outer Banks, very nice. Very yes. popular spot, right? Very yes. nice. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. I would, yeah. You, you. So, oh, yeah, you guys, you rent a big house. Big home on the beach. You yep. could do that. Yep. In the summer? Yes, next summer. Next summer? Yep. Okay. Hello. Hey, is Reamer up for a little Mary Fuck Kill? I think so. Sure, go for it. <laughs> Hold on one second, caller. You realize it was just two of you, Dave. Uh, and you're going to Outer Banks. That's that's in the world. If you won, you could fly there. If you Ooh. won the mud thing, that is oh. in the world. I believe. Is it okay. not? I believe Outer Banks okay. is in anywhere in the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because you, you can see here it's an airplane. It's flying away. It'll so fly you. It'll uh, fly you to a bank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the airplane. You didn't know. And by the way, you could have had dinner for two. No booze, but you could have dinner for. That's two. a great ticket, by the way. They did a great job with the that ticket. Why do they limit? What tickets? the fuck are you talking about? It's a great thing. You're mocking it, but it says it's right. A great ticket yeah. anywhere in the world. <laughs> you see it, that it draws you, wanna, you in. You, you want to buy the ticket anywhere true. in the world. It's not true though. Well, the fine print's a little bit different, but it's a good good salesmanship on that. Three star hotel accommodations for two nights. What's wrong with that? I'm just I'm just laying it out. Kirk would rather $5, stay in his car. Five thousand dollars. I would much rather stay in my car. Twenty bucks for a chance to get a five thousand dollar trip somewhere. What's that, wrong with that? That well, guy knows we have to win, right? Like one of us has to yeah, win. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, assuming see, that no, guy knows. I, he knows. I have to win. I have to win. Yeah. Yeah. I have to win. Go ahead, caller. Oh, uh, for Alex, yeah, go yeah. Ahead. Christian Arcan. Okay. Well, yeah. Gabe Murchison. Mm-hmm. Oh God. And Lucy Burge. Okay. There you go. Oh, this is a rough, rough, rough crowd here. Mm. Probably Mary. Probably Gabe seems like a nice, nice person. Oh, I would like say. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to kill Arcan or Lucy. Now, but, Arcan, you understand the the Arcan connection, right? Yeah, I do. Maybe actually, maybe. Are you guys aware that Christian Arcan takes it in the ass? Maybe actually, fuck Lucy and unfortunately kill Arcan. You would kill Arcan. I mean, if given those choices, yeah, yeah probably. I understand. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Lucy, I mean, she's, I haven't talked to her in a while, but she's doing well. Is she? Yeah. She's face of BetQL. She's oh. the, she is the face yeah. of BetQL yeah. right now. Yeah. Yes. Wow. I mean, that's taking off like crazy. Good for it her. Is. Good for her. That's an Odyssey company, right? I think so. Oh, well, yeah. Branch of Odyssey. Big, I mean, Mutt could work there. I, I could. Would yeah. you go back there if they offered you a job at BetQL? <sighs> yes. Yeah. So where, where's the pride? It's the same guy writing the checks. Well, different management. Different, people, different, uh, different, different, yeah, different vertical. Same different owner. section. Much different leadership. There. Yeah, much different leadership. Oh, who's the leadership there? <laughs> leadership. Very good guys. Okay. <laughs> Very <laughs> good guys. <laughs> can't throw them under the bus. Oh, are, can you confirm the Arcan question or no? I, I can't confirm it. Um, I don't think it's true. You don't think it's true? No. Okay. I have seen him out a couple of times, but at a... Whoa, at, whoa, at, no, whoa, no, 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 no. Like, at like a dive bar. I saw him out once at a yeah, dive bar. I think he was with his wife. What do you think of that, Dave? Deluxe. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. We had him on to... To confirm, didn't we? We tried to confirm. I thought yeah. he was on with us, right? One day with Mike. Yeah, he wasn't. <coughs> he wasn't exactly forthcoming with us. No, there was some well, stuff he was hiding. I yeah, I understand. Right. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Hey, it's Dicky V. How's it going? Fine. Good morning. Hey, have you guys covered the Harry and uh, Meghan Markle thing yet this morning? I don't know what that is. I mean, is there something new? Uh, yeah, I think it just came out like 15 minutes ago. They were involved in a pretty serious car accident last night. <laughs> Are you making this up or no? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine if you're making it up. But... They were chased by yeah. the uh, paparazzi for like two hours. They said it was near catastrophic. Uh-huh. Really? Kind of reminiscent of Princess Diana, don't you think? Is, there, is this a joke or like, if it's not, it's fine. I don't really... I mean, no, headlines. The spokesperson for Prince Harry and his beach. wife Megan say the couple were involved in a car chase while being followed by result of multiple near collisions. Mm. I will say I have my doubts. near catastrophic. I, I, have, I, have my, I, I, have, I have my doubts on that story. Is everyone all right? Where's all Where's all the video? Yeah. I mean, these people are taped all the time. <clears throat> That's a good headline for her comeback tour. Correct. Yeah. Like, where's so the? You guys are so cynical. Yeah. And she just did that Gloria Steinem thing last night. Where's the video? Award. Where's the video? It's, it's 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 Adam Jones all over again. According where's the video? <laughs> True or false? I mean, should there be video for this? Uh, there should definitely should be. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. They they did not go to the hospital and they are doing okay. <laughs> mm. 
Do you believe that, that they were your death experiences? I, I would I would have to see. You have to think there'd be some sort of video. That's all mass Video, yeah. photographic you know evidence, what? something. Just asking the question. Just, just asking that's the that's question. But you know what? It's, it's early. It's early out there. They're in LA, right? So it's only 8 a.m. there. So. But they must have paparazzi, well, obviously, <laughs> falling around all the time. Nobody video court, video taped them. Oh, right. Almost. Well, maybe it needs to come out. Maybe they did, and they're going to leak it themselves. They see what we had to deal with. Mm. Could be. Could be. Hello. Did not know that. Hey, hello. Good morning. I heard uh, Carter, but Nancy was disappointed about the raffle because he heard it was dinner at every restaurant in the that's world. That's ridiculous. See, that's that's where I mean, that's not. That's where you got. No, but you, line. you. This is you. <laughs> this is all you. <laughs> this yeah. is all you, Kirk. This is. is all you. If you if you're okay with this, that's fine. If you said Harry Manning, hand, I would laugh. No, you would not laugh. <laughs> you don't loud jokes. We had someone call the other day and say, uh, "What did they say about Kate from Mother's Day?" Uh, what did they say? Oh, it's Kate not like Mother's Day because she doesn't know who her, her, her oh, real right. mom is. That yes, seems yeah. very hurtful. I don't yeah. like that. And you laugh like at it that. and you move on. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not laughing at that. Well, but yeah, but you got, I mean, okay, they're just gonna, they're going to do it more often if you're an asshole about it. Well, then bring it on then. Sure. Well, you just say you don't want it. Well, I, it's your show. Dave could screen you, the calls and Do you think, do you think I know who that caller was going to be? Yes, you probably plant these calls. What? How? Oh, stop my... I didn't even scream. What, what are you talking, talking about? about? What, are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You encourage them. The way people like to see you laugh, and you laugh at these jokes about I laugh my at son. Your reaction no, to it. you're laughing at Carter. That's fine. I'm not laughing at Carter. Nice kid. I'm That's sure fine. Carter is. Love you, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Are they loaded up, Dave? They're loaded up. For this pussy. Jesus. Hello. 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 Alex, welcome back. Thank you. I feel like I'm 23 again. You worked at Boston Magazine for a while, didn't you? I no, did. I did freelance for not them. Not Boston yes. Magazine. Bomag. Bomag. Yeah, yeah. It's people in the indi- in the biz. Bomag, we call it Bomag. Yeah. You and Spencer Buell. Uh, yeah, good, great guys. Yes. They wrote a great profile about you years ago. Oh, uh, they definitely not really. That was the last time I saw you before today. Yeah, great I picture, hated though. that guy. They were following. Fucking, he was following you around. I hated that. What was his name? Tom. 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 Tom Stackpole. Yeah, he's a good guy. No, he's not. He's a piece Stackpole. of shit. <laughs> Hopefully, he's dead. Oh come on. Let's put it this way. Did you mention Lou Gehrig earlier? I did. Yep. I hope he interacts no, with Lou Gehrig. No, no. What? I hope he reads the book about Lou Gehrig oh, and okay. learns about life. Gotcha, what, do gotcha. want, what, what, what do you want me to say? Anyway, yes, I did yeah. I did work for them. Are you doing a profile on Alex? <laughs> <laughs> the time some guy wrote about you and I had to talk to him on the phone for like a half hour. That's right. And it was a college student, the same one who came in here. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Chad. He had all these questions. I'm like, I don't know. He's a nice kid. Yeah. I, don't want to say well, I mean, I wrote the best profile Kirk ever written, though. I must say, Mott, you must have read that. It was pretty amazing. Oh. The most acerbic man in sports radio. I forgot you on the show. Yeah, exactly. No question. That You've was a lot all of premeditated. Yes. Good move. Good move. <laughs> look, where, look where you are now. Queer tea in this fucking studio. Right here. Jesus. Hello. Kirk, what's up? It's Dan. Oh, well, yeah. Congratulations, Dan. I was just wondering if you saw me on part of my take. I mentioned earlier in the show, Dan. Congratulations. <laughs> good for you. You got to go on part of my... I know, I heard my... you. I have, a, I have some good news for you, actually. Why'd you ask me the question? If Well, go ahead. Uh, when I was there, Big Cat said they were looking to do a segment on washed up radio hosts, and I said you'd be perfect for it. That's kind of hurtful, Dan, but I mean, I, I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to it. It's good publicity. I'm, if that's the pitch they want to Who'd do. Who did you pick this week? I'm looking to know who not to bet who on. Who not to bet on, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my show with Riggs later today, Dan. Uh, Riggs, of course, reached out to me to do the show because he thinks I'm the ultimate gambling uh, golf guy. I'm on a roll right because now. Because I'm too busy being a part of my take and having mainstream actual publicity, something you wouldn't know much about, would you? Who's next on this list of players you blow? You had Thigala on. Who's next on this terrible thing where you walk around? With that stupid look on your face. Keith Mitchell? We're going to talk about sweaters? <laughs> <laughs> I'll watch that, actually, for being honest, Dan. <laughs> thank you. All right, Dan. Well, thank you. Congratulations. It's almost like my feather that line. I've always mentioned the good line. Keep I died off the air. You're, you're, you're always into that. Always into Killer that. Keith. <clears throat> Hello. Oops. Hey, I got a question for Alex. Yes. Go ahead. <clears throat> so, Alex, uh, Dave, Dave's, Dave, we now know, has a gay brother. His father had a gay lover. True. He watches gay TV shows and guy. loves going to gay weddings. What does your gay dad say about Dave? Well, that's a good question. So if, you just saw, if you just saw Colin A. walking around, I didn't know him. His outfit, his look, his hair. Cares about his hair a great deal. Ooh, I do care about my hair. Yeah. Is Dave it- is like a bro who wouldn't mind experimenting a little. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely not. Definitely, I don't think. I don't think Dave is gay. No. I am an ally. Yeah, I, I think you're a bro who wouldn't mind. You know, playing with the bros. You could go all the way. I don't know all the way. Yeah, but a little, little foreplay. Light petting or something. Yeah, light petting. Well, yeah, absolutely. Would you Would you find him attractive? If he was on the. Dave's open a handsome market? guy. Yeah. 
I always thought that. Thank yeah. you, Alex. You guys would actually be good because he is also vacant. Like, there would be a. I do not like <laughs> vacant people. <laughs> you are I, like, I, I am not vacant. The two of you could just talk about I, stupid shit all I, day. No, no. I, well, no. When you're with me, <laughs> I, have to I talk about my mental health issues. Oh, God. Yeah. So, no, I talk about very deep personal I'd have things. to lose some weight, get a little bit more fit. The thing is, you are like, you and Buck are similar in that you're gay and just completely self absorbed. When we're together, we just talk right past yeah. each other. <laughs> just one story goes right I past each other. I was thinking of my dad's funeral when Buck was there and there's a huge line. And Buck comes up to me, he's like, you never told me your dad was from around here. Well, he's, tr- <laughs> he's, no, he's like angry. I was well, like, because Buck. you should have told him. <laughs> I was like, I, Buck, what do you want me to you, say? Buck is, was very good to you early in your career. Not so good late in my career. What, what do you mean? Well, you wrote that. That story was ridiculous. I, I'd have to read it again. Did you ever talk to him after that? The athletic, right? No. I don't, first of all, I don't want to get near him. That stuff's, oh, that stuff's contagious. That's, as we know. That's why Alex is that far away. <laughs> you, no. you, you, you ate like burgers that. at his house once. No, no, I never did that. Yes, no, you I, did. No, I did not. I did not. You and DJ Bean, didn't you? No, 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 no. He invited me to. Oh, no, okay. he invited me to. Yeah. No, no, no. I was never one of the young people that Buck invited over for one of his dinners. That's... <laughs> True or false? Buck has a lot of friends. Is Buck's sexual attraction to, to men his age or people born after him in history? I think he's attracted to men around his age. Oh, you are unbelievable. What? I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's bad. What? But I, I think Buck, like is, Buck is a he hot. He likes younger guys. Buck's a hot commodity. He likes younger guys. What's wrong with that? I mean, define younger. 12? <laughs> no. No. 40, See, no. 40, four 40s. No. 40s. I made 40s. Yeah, but I mean, that's not he's that 70. young. It's not 70. He's in his 60s. That's what I'm saying. But there's nothing wrong with that. No, saying, nothing wrong with there that. There are guys who marry women much younger. I'm saying yes. he likes younger men. I think he likes men around his age or maybe a little younger. You're fi- what is wrong with you? What, what do you mean? What has happened what, to not, What's happened to me? What is ha- you Buck's saying, a good what? friend. Buck's a good guy. I don't know about uh, Buck's plan here. I don't know what his... I haven't seen him in a while. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say he wants to... Like, maybe Alex is right. Like, maybe, he's maybe, he's just, cha- maybe he's changed. Is Buck dating a lot of guys' age? I don't know. I don't know how often Buck dates anymore. I think he da- he traditionally dates guys who are a little younger than him. Yes. Yes. Okay. Not, well, yeah. I mean, not, yeah. Not a little younger. I already younger. said that. Not much younger. Much younger. Much younger. You would date a guy in his twenties if he was attractive. I, it depends. It could be an old soul. Yeah. Wow. I don't. What's that, Dave? 50, 50 year age gap. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't that's think. What I'm saying. That's no. Disgusting. No. Disgusting. no. You can relate to a lot of things. So. Who's that? I'm sure that. No. Twenty year old. So. Is Buck still scamming the athletic for that stupid? He still moment? writes his feature stories. Yeah. Unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Good. For I'm him. trying to get in there. Really? The athletic would be a great place to work. Oh, total scam. You should do it. <laughs> great, great move. For me. Great move. I would. So be my on. pajama pants, right? My features. Best move for Buck ever was coming out. It bought him job forever. Uh, he Buck does, inter- Buck does interesting stories that uh, you don't see elsewhere. He's the only guy who's bad in three different mediums. He's terrible on TV, <laughs> radio, and print. That's, true. <laughs> That's a quote. I'm not going to say who said it, but it's a quote. Voice doesn't give it away. Jerry and Buck were actually good friends at one point. Uh, as good a friend as you can be with Buck. Like, or Jerry. Liked, correct. That's exactly right. As much as I, I always liked Buck until he wrote that stupid story, but I think he felt like he couldn't express exactly what he felt because he was, uh, he was an uh, alienated community. I, uh, I don't know about that. I think he was uh, afraid to talk to you, maybe. Why? I sat, I sat with him for like six hours. No, I know, but maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. Oh, yeah, that was true. Six hours. I gave him plenty of time. No, I know. Um, uh, uh, what was it? Was but Buck, you, you can only be so, because oh, everything's about, everything is about Buck. Buck everything. has been very kind and caring towards me. I, I'm not saying he's not a nice guy. He's a nice guy. He's still dying his hair. Yeah. No. You are uh, no. What's that? He is younger. I mean, of course he's going to. Yeah, I mean, pay some special me. attention. Trust Alex. me. Trust not trust that young me. anymore. That's why he's a big, big three anymore. zero. Yeah, once you got that, that gray hair, true. Bucks, get yeah. the fuck out of here. What's the average age of the person he invites to the old time baseball game? Uh, well, the college kids playing it, so I guess. There you go. Guess there you go. Be. Does he still do that? <laughs> yeah, every pass year. Pass the hat around. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. I, I, I would be open to talking to Buck again. Well, that's Hello. good. That's big of you. That's breaking news. What if I broker the meeting? Sure, at the halfway cafe. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Buck. What if he threw out the first pitch at the old time? Yeah, ooh, game? that's a good idea. Those old White Sox unis. I don't know what, what charities are for this year. Uh, it's always for it's some charity, charity in Cambridge, I think. Right? I no, it changes every year. Changes every year. Yeah, yeah, right. Have you ever been Mutt? I have not gone. I used to go because nobody, I wanted no, to. Nobody wants. To I know. used to go. <laughs> <laughs> every year I make something no, up. No, I, I used go. to go because I wanted to see the sports writers in right. the flesh. Yeah. It was like, like, you know, what was it like to see Steve Bull Pett in line? Was it amazing? <laughs> it was, amazing. Was it everything oh, you took that huge hack. It was wow. exciting to see Shaughnessy in person. Yes. I will say. <laughs> yes. Rob Bradford, incredible. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is John from Prep. This is John from Prep Burger. I'm just calling to confirm 1120 for my uh, Carter McNansky joke. Okay, sure. Yep. 1120 Prep Burger Carmansky. Yes. Got it. All right. Perfect. I, I also have a question for Alex Reamer, if he's there. I am, I am here, yeah. 
Hi, Alex. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> what's it like? What's it like what? Being in a room. What's it like being in a room with someone who likes horse cock more than you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a bit out of sorts, That's I will fun. say. That's, That's a good line. That's funny. <laughs> good line. Uh, there you go. Why do you have a $20 bid? What, what, what bid is this? One of your listeners sent in money for a raffle ticket. Okay, so who's that for? I mean, who's that for? Who's the $20? Oh, oh it's somebody it's gave, for the raffle gave, gave it to you? No, I asked them to mail it to me here. So I could pick it up. Who's that? Tim and Ken. No. Oh. Right. Hello. Fucking believable. And I request to be at the drawing if I may. <laughs> Maybe this point. That's my guy right there. I mean, I mean, Tim. To be fair, yeah, like it should it should be an open process. Like it should be a a a pro where everybody sees it. These guys just go into some room in Chelmsford and why, why, pull a winner. It, why would they have any sort of motivation to not to just, uh, to just get, to do get, it truthfully? Why do any of these fucking scam charities? They give it to some buddy of theirs. You get to go somewhere. It's not a scam charity. It's to raise money for the lacrosse program. But you can't ask. You can't ask why is it somebody of a motivation? Obviously, what if one of their buddies wins? And the buddy says, "Oh, keep the money. Don't worry about or, it." Or, or hey, this guy has always wanted to go somewhere. Oh, great! Now I can finally go see my fucking mm. cousin and wherever. They right? do not seem like those type of people. It's it's like they're always, works. always above board at Chelmsford Lacrosse. All right, so go ahead, Tim. What's up? It's bullshit. Well, Kirk, uh, I did have a question for the Fire Island Fibber, but um, okay. if I do win, oh, is this Tim and Ken? It, um, it is, huh? Go if you win what? Uh, I, I'm going to use that ticket to go to the next uh, road show that you do. Oh, good! There you go. There you go. Best, best of both worlds. We'll be announcing that day at a three star hotel. Could be announcing that soon. I'm sure there'll be um, a hotel near where we're, or be able to fly near where the show will be, but you never know. Right. <laughs> So uh, before I get to the, the question for the liar, um, wow. don't, you know that book club that Titan Alex wins. mentioned? Don't yes. you, just, you picture like the JFK potty scene? Yes, the movie and film JFK. Yeah. I could see that. Well, I, I think the I think the guy's a little, I think it gets a little loose sometimes at these parties. No, it know? doesn't. It's Tuesday really? night. Tuesday night. Oh. I like to say I'm, I don't I'm, believe no I, drinking. I like to be in a book club. Just so, uh, I, have, I have a glass of wine. This guy's a boozer. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not anymore. I'm trying no? to cut back. Yeah. Seven yeah. edibles. Yeah. How about yeah. the drugs? High on life. That's all really? I got to say. Why is he a liar? Tick, tickle Tuesday, Alex. Um, I, oh, why is he a liar? Well, first of all, there's no way he met a minute fan because think of his history. Alex, did you ever actually date uh, the Alex, or was that just a War of the Roses? That was a rough, that was a rough, I a for, rough callback. I forgot about rough that. Oh, remember callback. that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, low oh moment. I thought about that years ago. I totally forgot rough about moment. that. That poor guy. That was worse than we did that poor AJ Perez. <laughs> that was the worst thing. <laughs> remember that you outed that guy who wasn't even, wasn't even gay? What a, mo what a monster you That's are. That's how desperate I was for, a t for fleeting affection and attention <laughs> we made from you a diabolical <laughs> morning host. <laughs> we made you into just a monster. Yeah, a terrible guy. That's what radio does to people, though. I forgot about that. I came in here every day. I, yeah. It's different here now. Mm. Oh, no, no, that is true. Much different, wait, much different. But you're not, this isn't a job, though. You know, if you paid me a salary, maybe. Oh, I thought you said for me. I'm like, geez, I get paid for it. No, no I but, but, but I'm saying it's not as. No, I mean, because you're a real person. The now, tension kind of. is way less. Non existent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You seem like you're still a little late, a little nervous, though. Oh, I'm seeing you a little bit, but not as nervous as I thought I'd be. I mean, what's there to be nervous about? No, nothing, nothing at all. It's gone great, I think. You say, see me, you were nervous. A little what, bit. What was I going to do? Recall. We talk. We talk I, all the time. I love talking. So to then you. what's the issue? Just, I don't know, back in this chair, it makes me, you know, flash back to a different time in my life, I will say. But you're, you're the same same empty person you were then. I am not empty. <laughs> I forgot with that poor Alex number two. That was that so was rough. Rough. Oh, that was brutal. How that long was, was he on the phone for? I Too feel long. Like, I feel like three hours. <laughs> Too long. I thought Alex was going to vomit. I'm going to try to find that. I haven't heard, I haven't thought about that in years. When you go against your conscience, you get in trouble. Set, set it to Alex. I'll be, he'll, he'll want yeah. to hear. What else, Tim? Um, the remember, he finally admitted that that story was either about Montreal or Berlin was totally false. What was? I don't remember this. Made it up. Oh, I made it up. That's when I went to a bathhouse bath, uh, or something. Bath yeah. Oh, you made it up? I mean, I did go, but I probably made up like details. Yeah. yeah go ahead, Tim. Tim's, Tim's, Tim's nailing me. Tim's nailing thing. me here. Is there any humor attached to this call? Or are we just... Uh, what's... There you go, Alex. Yeah. I. Oh, stop being so cunty, you douche. So I <laughs> do have a little back. game for you. Oh, okay. okay. Good. Uh, I'm going to empower a word to retard Rima. How do you like that? I don't like it. I'm not saying I'm not taking part in this at all. It's pronounced that way. It does seem worse, yeah. but yeah, go ahead. I know. So 
Uh, this is a little twist on the F. Mary Kill, which I know you just hate, Kirk. But this is, uh, Alex, this is Felch, Masturbate, or Cum Guzzle. Okay. Right. Well, maybe we'll see. We'll see if I'll play along, Tim. We'll see. Okay. Yep. Uh, Doug Lane. Okay. Okay. I, I, I like this is going. I can participate. <laughs> Not bad looking guy. Uh, Mike Adams. Oh, uh, never met Mikey in person. I don't think. No. No. Too bad for you. I'm sure, there's many nice things to say about you. Oh, probably yeah. big fan yeah, of one of the work that I brought. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one that you just mentioned a little while ago, Mark Dundero. I'll hang up. Oh, oh Mark Dundero. You, so I'm. I'm I thank you, Tim. Later, Tim. Tim Thanks, really Tim. likes me. Um, Tim seems very angry there, Dave. Uh, I think he's just. You can only have anger me. towards people who you love. That's true. Yes, yeah. That's true. Do you talk to Trenny at all or no? We used to talk, but not that much anymore. Yeah. I've fallen out of touch, but I'd like to get back in touch with her. She took the guy's name when she got married. She did. Which seems anti trenny Why? Because she's a big feminist. Well, it doesn't doesn't make her not a feminist. She wants to take her partner's last you name. Would have been, I would, you I would have been surprised if you found out she was going to do that. Uh, I was a little surprised. Yeah. yeah I think in today's saying. world, though, like a professional woman, like I don't know if that's as common as it used to be. Yeah. Because she used it as a professional name, too. She bailed on us though when things got hot, so she can go. No, no, but she had a she, go, had a, she has a good spot with Jim TV and Marjorie. Job. Still, well, I right. love. Okay, that's my next goal to what? get on Jim and Marjorie. Oh, Jim brought these. I awesome. love I like that Jim show. Jim's great. He's great. He's great nose for talent. He <laughs> great nose for talent. Yeah, he knows. Clowns. Oh, I didn't even think that. Stealing money from the taxpayers. Of that what you show. Would do, what you would do in thirty seconds? Not even two seconds. Well, that Stay show. That yeah, job. man, that's a lot of money. One percent. One percent donation. Ten p.m. to stand like ten feet away from my co-host and just talk about nothing for three hours. Would you rather talk about nothing? Says the person who talked about you know Celtics playoffs for years. I mean, shit. Nothing. Taking calls on. Do you take vacations by yourself? Taking calls on the Bruins goaltending situation. But don't rank what I did less important. He's doing. It's not exactly Please. stupid. How many calls do you think I'm Matt Patricia in your life? <laughs> I would take them right now. That's what I'm saying. So like, Six one seven 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 nine seven ninety three seven. Fuck Mark Dondero or Doug Lane. Yeah. None of it's important. Do you, you get to do you that. have your phone out when you go to dinner, or do you put it away? Oh, sorry, it's not the segment on Peeps. I put it out. Wants. I put it out peeps here. Are also, yeah, yeah. You, 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 it's none of it's yeah, important. Stop defending Jim. God, he's a friend. We're texting. He brought you on his show. Would you rather have sex with Doug Lane or Mark Dondero? Dondero. I think Doug Lane would be a gentle, a kind Maybe, lover. Maybe, but Dundara is more in my age range. Talk, I think. Talkative. Ooh, yeah. He'd be a talk. Talkative. talkative. That's not bad. Not so much the during, after. A lot of talking. Oh, Who is the other one? Oh, Mike there. Adams. Break no. Down. Mike Adams. I don't know. You have to call Glenn and talk about it. And then, like, you know, oh, he'd be, be a, a blabbermouth? Yeah. We love I don't like people sleep and tell. I think he and Glenn talk every day. Well, I mean, good for them. I, Glenn, Glenn it seems very happily retired. He's not oh, popping up doing no, for sure. Yeah. strange shows or no, anything. But I, actually, but I actually think he actually is yeah. content. I think oddly. that's great. And so is Dale, I think. Dale and Dino. I mean, he's and Dino. off the face of the earth. And much retired. Yeah. yeah. Not retired. What do you mean? Not retired? <laughs> we, oh, yeah, that's right. You do appearances at YouTube. I'm still working. I'm not nowhere near retired. What are you doing? The Triple Crown's over. <laughs> that's a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> is there a problem then? <laughs> Hello. Hello? Oh, boy. Yeah, I was worried about this, Dave. Go ahead. I have a question for Mutt. Yeah, I have two questions for Alex. Reed. I figured two. you would, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, this is a freaking caller of the show. Go, you, Mutt first? Kevin. Mutt. Hi, <clears throat> okay. Mutt. Mutt, during your time at WEEI, do you think Lucy Birch was tempted to suck on your raging boner? <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, I never got that sense. Oh, God. He wasn't a producer. He was on air. <laughs> That's the God. Two for Alex. <laughs> Alex, uh -huh. how badly do you want to suck Dylan Mulvaney's dick? Do you know? Fair question. I think Dylan Mulvaney's an excellent performer. I love how much Dylan Mulvaney has broken the. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it's I would do anything that she wants just for that reason. How about that? How about she? That? She? Yeah, she. Go ahead. Sorry, Kevin. Question two. Second question. Mm -hmm. Who's the big um, one? I got half a line on. somewhere. I mean, really, Jesus. Make fun of, you know, Mutt's kids. But we can, that we can't have. Yeah. That's worse. That what seems you say, fair. Mutt? Yes, yes. Yeah, much fair. worse. Much well, thank you. That's, that's, see, that's beneath that's Kevin. Worse. Isn't that, yeah, that was shocking. That I thought Kevin not, was playful. Yeah, that is not good. We they, have not, they, they get very angry with me. Very visceral. We don't, I, don't, I don't advocate that. We do not advocate that. Here. No, no, That's no, not no. a word we're bringing back. We whipped it out of the Bob Huggins sound, did we not? Yeah, that was a oh, you did do that. Pussy move. Pussy. <laughs> well, Dave was right because there was that call. podcaster who got fired for playing the. I wasn't going to fire him for that. No, that's true. Yeah. Do you got? Do you gentlemen call each other that word at all conversationally? Uh, not that much. I mean, a little bit. Was it more? Would you do it more? Say four or five years ago. 
Yeah, probably. But I was less secure about myself then, so probably. But I, I like I used used the abbreviated one. The abbreviated you still version. do uh, once in a while, but like in a self deprecating way, and only with other gay men. But we can. But but you're criticizing us for using the 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 R word. Yeah. Oh, come well, on. but well, but um, but it's like the it's like the black. You've it's like it. It's like a person of color in the N word. Absolutely. You've it. Yes, I've earned it. Okay, there were the hardship I've went through. That's we fair. grew up in Natick. That's a good point. I went to Boston University. True. <laughs> Lived in Brooklyn. I mean, I a tough life here. True. Well, you've performed those acts, so you've probably earned it. I, I have earned it. It's well, hard work. It is hard work. Let me tell you. Yeah, I would imagine. Can't eat what you want. That's true. Uh, it's tough. tough. Disappointing. I'm disappointed in Kevin, Dave. Yeah. Hello. It was shocking. Hey, Kirk. It's Kermit the Frog. Hey, Kermit. Uh, can we do a little uh, movie guessing by Cass? Sure, why not? Thanks. <laughs> um, so I'll just go down the list. Mm-hmm. Danny Glover. Mm-hmm. Jennifer Lopez. Mm-hmm. Christopher Walken. Mm-hmm. Dan Aykroyd. Woody Allen. Sylvester Stallone. Oh, is that uh, is that uh, ants? <laughs> I don't know. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Who, who's who's the other cast member, Kirk? Uh, Sharon Stone. Uh, that would be Gene Hackman. Oh, that's right. He's an ants. Right, right. What the hell are you laughing at, Kermit? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> what the hell are you laughing at? Bye, Kirk. Back scary. He's <laughs> ranged, these people. <laughs> it was a frog. No, yeah. it was, that was an actual frog. It, was a, it wasn't a person. It was a frog. Right. right. It was Kermit the Frog. Can you identify every one or two more? Hello. I have a question for everybody in the room. Okay. Uh, what, do you think, what do you think was a better kill for Kathy Cullinane? Mm-hmm. Was it uh, Little Jack's gay friend uh-huh. or Dave's dead mother-in-law? I mean, I would just say that she flaunted the mother-in-law being dead when we, when we spoke. That is not accurate. That is a total fact. So I don't remember my father killing off Sebastian, or my mother killing off Sebastian. I don't remember that. <clears throat> well, I think he's talking about um, the gentleman who just passed away. Oh, so he's saying he was also gay. With yes, oh, right. I'm assuming. Right. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. I would, say the, yeah, I would say the mother-in-law for sure. Got it. Good Mother's Day yeah, for, for, for everyone? Yeah. yeah that's Very good. enjoyable. Yep. Is that the first Mother's Day or second for your mother-in-law? Since your mother passed away, a uh, second, second, yeah, okay. that gets it gets a little easier, I guess. Hello, hey guys, it's cock stuck in Jim. Hey Jim, oh, we called last week, didn't he? Yes, hey, yes. Mm. Alex, <clears throat> Alex Reamer, yeah. Do you need your lawn mower fixed? I would never mow my own lawn. I don't even own a lawn mower, so. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, I'll be right over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that seems like a good way to. Am I? Uh, oh, 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 sorry, right. cock sucking Jim. <laughs> uh, 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 all right, so promote away first. Go ahead. Mudstack.com. Uh, full, Mudstack. uh, full coverage week of the Preakness. Friday four pack. Love some media notes in there. Some sports notes as well. What media, media notes, notes do you have? I think there'll be some follow up to what we heard yesterday on Touch and Rich Show. I think okay. it's that's fresh. Some, that's fresh. Well, by some Friday. Awkward. That's good. <laughs> oh, wait, so things could change between now and Friday. We leave a little bit of uh, wiggle room for Thursday night into Friday. Things could happen. Well, you just said follow up from Tuesday's show. You said. Well, they did. They made their first appearance together. It was a suggestion they would never do a show together. I think you said last week yeah. they would never do a show together, and sounds they like, did. And so like, that's gone. The last couple of days sounds like you just covered it. <laughs> well, there's more detail. There's more nuance to it. Yeah, what? Like Let's break it down. Like, so, He's going to listen to the whole week of shows, and I don't know why you gave him this advice. What like, advice? The, not enough people are going to give a fuck about Toucher and Rich. He gives there. a fuck about his preview for the Preakness either. It, but a it, lot of people do. It's an actual sport in the world. Like everyone, just, everyone likes you. You're a nice guy. That's why they subscribe. No one reads it. No, they definitely read it. No, I, I see the numbers. You can see how many people I read see, it on I Substack. see the numbers. Trust me. Well, you, can see see many, well, you can see how many people open, open it. the email. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't mean they read it. They're being okay, nice. same thing as a download and a listen. That is true. You don't care if they listen and only a download, right? No, but I'm not pretending that I have any idea. You're saying they definitely read it. I see, I see the numbers of who's subscribing and who's uh, it's opening. Op- yeah, is an opening percentage. Do you subscribe? I do, of course. Do you read it? Uh, I read it. Yeah, I read it sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did subscribe to Alex. Yeah, I, mean, I read it. Substack for yeah, a while. I did have to sub- It's it's a we it's the unemployed guy move. You got to start a Substack. Yeah, I guess it's true. I wrote about my myself and my Substack. Surprisingly, I find it almost <laughs> very good. Possible to believe, Alex. <laughs> All right, so Mudstack's up Friday. Mudstack.com. We'll have some Mudstack. content uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How are you feeling with Mudstack right now, Dave? I'd just rather focus on uh, horse racing, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, di- I, I disagree with you. 
It's a niche. Event. That is true. That. I mean, that's a, mm. yeah, it's a different and category. He also has a premier event every single year that's like very trendy in the world. So I think he should be dialed in on that only. We did just upgrade the microphone, so hopefully it's better for uh, this week. We mic we issues? Spent some money on one of these bad boys. So. <laughs> you know you did? Did. Good. Better than our fucking David the guy with that guy. Jesus oh. Christ. Oof. Did you hear back from him at all? Is he still waving his arms or no? I don't think so. I didn't see him tweeting yesterday. Well, that's so, good. Yeah. All right. Uh, Alex, awful announcing. Yes. Where else? Queerty, out sports. Follow me on Twitter. Jeez, you're doing it all. I'm doing it all, man. Do you have a story come up the next day or two or not? Yeah, I'm going to write more when I get home. That's it. I'm what a working you, guy. What do you got? Uh, we got, uh, let's see, Ron DeSantis uh, is in trouble in Florida. That's a Queerty story. The Jacksonville has gone blue. They have a new Democratic mayor in Jacksonville They now. do? Yes. That's so bad for a back, Ron DeSantis? Backlash, backlash in Florida. He's going to lose if he ever ran again for governor of Florida? Uh, he may. Because Jacksonville's he, gone blue? He may, yes. It's a harbinger of things to come. And Pat McAfee joining ESPN. Terrible look for ESPN. I like that. Ooh. That's a good take. I <laughs> yeah, like that. Tough look. Are you going to uh, uh, get into uh, how good Mike Gorman is on Touch and Richard? <laughs> That's in my media notes <laughs> oh, section good. of my Substack this week. Yeah, Mike Gorman's a lovely guy. It's a I, thoughtful I, interview. I can't imagine how boring that must be. Boy, it, uh, Celtics Heat. It's like last year. Celtics what? Celtics Heat. It's like last they year. Last, it's like last four years. Yeah, oh, Eastern is that Conference right? Finals. Yeah, I see it's promoted. So I see the Athletic. I don't want to try and jeopardize your future employment. That's okay. They promote the story they did on uh, Spolstra. Is that how you say Eric Spolstra, Eric Spolstra with a K? Yeah, and they're like, uh, and like he's. Like the 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 Dow of of uh, Eric Spo, like you know, uh, yes. Spo, like you see, he he thinks he caresses, he, he does. touches, mm. like he touches, like all he. <laughs> It's fucking LeBron. Like, he's a nice coach, but I, I, well, he overachieves now. He keeps getting these conference finals with Jimmy Butler and a bunch of also rans. He did gonna win that series. Guarantee. Guarantee. Wow. Wow. Guarantee. Did I say the Bruins are gonna lose in the first round? You did. Guarantee. My take would be Jimmy Butler is a real winner. Exactly. That, that'd be my take. Your brother's got balls. Yes. A real <laughs> yeah. balls. Yeah. He's, Jason did play well in game seven and some team that gave up. But he, but he taunted an opponent like Larry Bird would never have done. He would never so do that. He's going <laughs> to totally. I guess on the show the other day, just say it. We know you want to just, just, just. But he never used to be like, like he didn't used to want us. Let's say it. I Jerry before the show breaks would be a lot more, would be further right than he would be on the air. Like he definitely curbed it. Of course. Show. Of course. Now it's, now it's unfiltered. Really? Jerry oh, Callahan show unfiltered. Absolutely. Is he uh, on this show? Does he talk about like Odyssey or Touch? He doesn't do any of that stuff. I think he does a little bit. You know, it, it does a little Patriots talk. Yeah. Oh, he's got to do that for the yeah. <laughs> it's the picks with Montante and company, right? They do their Friday football that's, picks. That's true. He likes to talk sports. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good point. But I, I haven't heard it in a while. No, I think he's very light on that stuff. He's very Bongino esque. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Okay. What's okay? Well, there you go. All right. So we're back Friday with Mike and who? Uh, What's that guy's name? Brian something. So I had to read. Oh, yes. Sounds good. Yes. I'm sure he's good. <laughs> Brian something. <laughs> yes. Okay. So we know nothing about this guy. Nothing about him. Nothing at all. Big fan of the show. Oh, good. Yes. Good. Okay. We get golf picks today, right? You and Riggs? Riggs and I will be taping in the half hour doing a dress rehearsal. Oh, live. Oh, five o'clock. Yeah, we do a dress at <laughs> noon for our five o'clock live show. He'll be live at the play uh, at the PGA Championship. Oh, you had picks. Uh, I like Justin Rose a long shot play this week. For, for Justin Rose, top 20. Okay. Siwoo Kim, top 20. That's my other long shot. Hold on. Adam Scott, top 20. S some prices. Hmm. What's Adam Scott's money, top 20? Uh, I think it was like three to one. Like this one. No, that's not bad. It's not not bad. terrible. Hmm. All right. And, and Mito Prera for pizza money. I know you think you it's crazy. You said this the other day. It's 100 day. to one. 100 to one. A little pizza money bet on Mito. Why do you keep saying pizza money? Because I'm not pizza saying. Money. Well, What's that, Dave? Pizza money. Pizza. Yeah. yeah. You're, not, you're not betting your full, right. full unit. You're not going not for lunch. $12. Yeah. $15. That's, that's the, what, what's the Kirk Minahan unit when you're betting these picks? It depends. I'll throw a couple hundred bucks in this week. I'll go um, crazy. Was Mito one of the featured guys in the Netflix? He was, right? Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. He's on yeah, there. It was yeah. awful, right? Absolutely. He, they, were like, they were like half in on him. They weren't even like fully in. It was, no, it was like cave it last was year. The Gala, him, and somebody else, right? Wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, for one episode. Yeah, they yeah. kind of did the, yeah, like the under, yeah. I forget the other the guy. The guy who went to live, right? What's well, Mito? Mito's at live. No, isn't there another guy? Did the Abe answer? Did his friend go to live or no? Thomas Peter? I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, know. Sorry. Who knows? Sorry, anyway. All right. Alex, welcome back here anytime. Love to come back. Of course. Back. Mutt, when are we going to see you again? Next week, maybe? Uh, whenever you call, buddy. That's not true. You have dates where you can't do it. You said, like, Friday, you can't do it. Well, it's not Triple Crown week next week, so I'd, 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 I'll be around. So you have nothing to do. I'll be around next week. If you'd like me to come in. Nothing If you'd like me to come in. I'll be Wednesday, I'll be in New York. Oh. For trivia. I'm going to be in New York. I'll have Dave Porter. Well, Monday. And, that'll be huge. Monday or Wednesday. What's that? You and Dave. My, massive, massive. You and him right. should go to EI. You should talk horse racing with Dave. Why? 
Ask him. He's the race a big, will be over. What the fuck am I talking well, he's about? a fan of the sport. Ask him the critical questions you asked me. I didn't defend the sport for Good half point, an hour this Good morning. Good point, Mutt. Good point. Dave, you can ask Dave that? Probably not. I'd be happy to ask him. Okay, we'll see if you do. <laughs> Listeners are clamoring for it. <laughs> you they should be. Portland's I want to hear Porter get grilled away. I got that. grilled for 20 minutes today. No, but you're, but you're running away. Steps. You're running away from it. Then you don't cover a mutt stack. I do cover a mutt stack. It's right fucking there. He didn't read it. I didn't see it. 50, They've skipped it. Your, your, your defense is that it's down 50%. They do, it, they do a much better job with the safety of horses. Could it be better? Yes. Should the cheaters be out of the game? Yes. But the game is safer than it was two years ago. Muttstack.com. Okay. So you uh, wait, New York Monday or Wednesday or both? I'm in New York on Monday. Yep. For the first round of trivia. Yep. I've not won the first round yet. I'm going to be named the league MVP, I think, today for the third time. Three, three I voted years. for Fran. That's fine. So if I... But I have not got the first round yet. There's a tremendous amount of pressure. If I win Monday, I'm back in New York on Tuesday. If I don't, I'll be back <laughs> Monday night. You'll know. If you'll Basically, I won't give anything away, but you'll have an idea if I won or not by... Well, if I'm here, I'll be here Wednesday regardless, I think. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. But I'm here. Okay. I have Portnoy and other various guests on Monday from New York. Yeah, we gotta rent a studio. We gotta book a studio out in. Uh, I mean, rent. Well, like we gotta we gotta just book it out in the, in the office HQ. Why don't make you sure do we tell them? I know. What time are we doing it? Uh, nine nine thirty. Right. Maybe I don't know. Nine thirty. Say. Sounds good. Everyone's always late there anyway. Yeah. All right, and then Friday it is Mike and who? Mike and Brian. Brian something. Brian <laughs> should be good. Should be good. That's All right, great. we'll talk to you then, boys. Good to see you. Good Goodbye. seeing you, Alex. Goodbye.